Unless you want to speak to Noelle, but we're going to go to Nyx first. What would you like to make? So, um, Nyx has a, a few ideas on what she would want because okay. she wants to make sure that she can still have her ex. Mm -hmm. So she was thinking, um, kind of like the idea of the bag of holding, like we were talking about last time, mm -hmm. where she could make gloves, but okay. one of them be like a bag of holding, mm -hmm. sort of, mm -hmm. so that on her right hand, because that's where she has the axe attuned to, mm -hmm. when she has the glove over, it doesn't show, I guess. Does that make sense? Okay, so do you want it to be a bag of holding, or do you want it to be just like basically iron lined gloves so that you can just take it off and it's there i'm thinking like sort of like a bag of holding just okay. in case i want to put like the barrette in there too or something okay. like that okay do keep in mind since it is a glove the opening the only things that you can put into that glove are about as big as your hand so like super small yeah that like tiny that. Well, about that big on her yeah <laughs> on her. yeah on her it's like <laughs> tiny um but yes yeah, so glove for nyx so then, i'm gonna put mini uh, bag of holding okay and then for so for Ellen Wayne. Mm -hmm. Does she have magical items? Because this is going to be my Ellen Wee thing. does. So Ellen Wee has it's her main weapon of choice that she has. Um, let me bring up her character sheet. Um, the item that she has. She used to have a lot more magically item things, but they no longer are viable for her because she's no longer a paladin. Right. Um, she does, of course, have the magic that was bestowed on her, so she does have that fire magic that she can utilize. Um, it's booting up. Because I was just trying to decide whether I was uh, going to do, like... So she does I'm have a Steri's hammer that you guys gave her. So she has the hammer and the little mm -hmm. things, but she also has a um, a long sword is what she has, and it gives her extra buffs. But that's as about as magical item-y that she has right now. Okay, because yeah. I was thinking of either doing that, like the clutch for her, like an iron clutch, mm -hmm. a purse that she can carry, or doing like a crinoline. I don't know what kind of dress she's gonna be wearing. So like the crinoline cages that like kind of poof out the dress. My girl okay. is wearing something very, very form fitting. Okay, so yeah, so maybe mm -hmm. then just the clutch for her. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you okay, want so it to be like that, another um, mini bag of holding? Something that she, I don't know how big that hammer is though. So the Asteri like hammer could, could fit mm -hmm. perfectly fine. Her long sword could not. So she could at least have a hammer. Okay. So she could just <laughs> <laughs> like hit I'm people to make over it the head. Like, something that would look a little less conspicuous. So mm -hmm. that's why I thought that the bag would be good for her to have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll have her do that. Um,. Can okay. I do a spider brooch for Noctis? That's also like a bag of holding, like a little latchy thing you can put stuff into. So it's okay, like that like latch is gonna be so tiny. Like, <laughs> question: Question. <laughs> yes. Does Nyx have? Is Nyx gonna like? Does she have the ability to make something that just masks? She she can anything. I'm allowing Cassie anything she can dream up. I'm going to try and work with her. Within okay, the confines of D and D, so like, no Noctis is wearing a lot of like magical items, mm -hmm. like as jewelry. Okay. Yeah, you have all so, those different charms and stuff that gives you buffs. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And she she would know that he has that too. Yeah. So. 
how am I supposed to cloak anything for that? <laughs> cape. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I was like, I was wondering like if there was something that kind of just emitted like an anti-magic field around him, or, or not like an anti-magic, but like a masking field. Okay. So uh, we could look into like I know there's a spell that. <laughs> Using that, I know exactly which spell you're thinking of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could look at doing a brooch that has that as an ability, but that would then negate the possibility of that brooch being opened as another little thing. Oh, that's that, fine. Okay. That's so. fine, then. We'll do the spider. And it has, like, a little chain thing. Like, he drew a little... Yeah, I, a little thingy I saw the little blurb. Okay. Yeah, like that. Team magic brooch. And then okay. you got two more items. Yeah. Um. So for key, right? Mm hmm. I know that Nyx would kind of be like, "How can Key bring her bow?" Because she knows that Key is like that's Key's thing. Yeah, it's Key's bow. thing. Uh huh. <laughs> um, because originally I was thinking like doing a ring, but the problem is a ring is very tiny, and I don't know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It would be something bring, that would bring that her up bow. to Noel. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, just while I'm on the subject, Chang is probably just also gonna get like. A the size okay. approach kind of thing, the same kind of thing. You can just anti magic <laughs> or another mini bag of holding. I will let you know, mini bags of holdings are pocket universes, basically, mm -hmm. which are harder to create. Right. Um, so the DC for those are much higher. Much higher, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Quick question: Is Chang mm -hmm. planning on bring, bringing the birds? <laughs> oh fuck! I forgot. I can that only magical. one bird has to stay inside the shop. It can't go anywhere. Past oh yeah, the he shop. never brings. Right. The so other one. yeah, she like, can't go anywhere. Technically not magical, so no, because no. it kind of is because of Avahennis. You don't. But know. I don't. Like, I don't know if that counts. But people do because... know about your bird because you did display it. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So he has reason to bring it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, so okay. with Chang, Chang... Sorry, sorry. Um, with mm -hmm. the clothes that Chang is uh, wearing, all he needs is to mask what he's... Because, like, he can hide his items in his clothes um, with the way it's, okay. his so clothes are So probably another anti-magic... Yeah, because, yeah, like, he has the ring. Too, so. Yeah, because he can fit the gun somewhere in his clothing. And he has the ring. And, um... Okay. <laughs> I'm still not sure what the parry out of wound closure... How he's gonna hide that, because that's, like, a headpiece. So would you want to do <laughs> another brooch? It's it's not it's not a headpiece, it's a necklace. Oh, it's a necklace? Never mind, that's even... That's yeah. perfect. Never mind, then. Yeah, so he can hide that easily. Okay, yeah, um, so like a brooch, yeah. like another a gear brooch. brooch or something. A gear. A gear, that's so cute! A gear brooch. Ah, I love that! Okay, so we have. Yeah. You want to make two bags of holding, mini bags of holding. One for you, one for Ellen Wee. You're looking at making two anti magic brooches, one for Noctis and one for Chang, and then something to do with Key's bow. Yeah, so then sh I guess. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, mm -hmm. the logistics of the things. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think was Nyx already with No? She already went to Noel, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys are basically discussing what we just kind of discussed. She, she was basically like, "What do you have in mind?" Okay, so she's and gonna so, say all of that, and then mm -hmm. she's gonna go, and she's gonna be like, "For Key, I just want something where she'll be able to." have her bow with her because i think that's the most important thing for her to have just in case anything does happen and i don't know if you anything you could think of that might help with that well 
We could give her another anti-magic cloaking. We can apply that cloak to maybe an item she's already going to be currently wearing to help her. And then what I can do from there is we can actually make the item small. We can shrink it down and then she can release it when needed. So it could be, we could make it look like it's a necklace. We could make it look like it may be something that goes in her hair, like a little, little thing that looks like a tiny bow. Um, or even another brooch off to the side. We could make it look like that, but enough that she would be able to conceal it and then activate it when needed. Um, but we would just need... We would need something to apply the magic to. I do have brooches that we could utilize for Noctis and Chang. I have that in my workshop, so we definitely have those available. However, the biggest thing is going to be this idea you have for your for our gloves and for a clutch. And that's going to be a little bit harder for us to do, especially with the time constraint. Normally, it takes me about a one full day to just make one bag of holding. So with us combined, we may be able to do it, but it will be a little bit difficult. But my main concern for Key is that she's going to have to give us her bow to apply this magic. And if we fail, there's a possibility of us destroying the item. So she's going to have to put major trust in both of us to do it. Or... If she's okay with giving up the bow and utilizing a lesser bow, I can maybe find something in my shop that might be able to compensate. Ah. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> that makes that makes Nick very nervous. And she's just like. I don't know. If we had more time and I could focus on one thing at a time, I wouldn't be worrying about it, but we have all these other things to do. I don't know. I don't know. That would have to be a conversation I don't know that between she... you both. Yeah, I, I I can't make that decision for So let's for her. make her like, item there's... last Wait. then. Or maybe okay. we can think about something entirely different. Because the only thing that I could think of would either try to make another bag of holding, which would then make it much more difficult for us to get the other bags of holding done, but even then, it's... It's a little bit difficult because I know that item is something she cherishes quite a lot. Let's let's start on something a little bit easier. Let's start on the brooches. Yeah. Okay. And she's yeah. gonna she's gonna have you follow her to the shop itself. So you see the main shop. She has the clothes sign on it and everything. You see all the different doodads and weaponry she's made in the past. You see a whole bunch of different things. And then she kind of goes over and you see her bring over like a little like box and she opens it and it's just full of brooches this whole bunch of different brooches you got nice. ones that look like peacocks you got one that looks like a frog you got another one that looks like a dog you got a whole bunch of different ones and like you're able to kind of rifle through and you find the gear you rifle through again you find one that looks like a little spider and you're like these these ones <laughs> <laughs> it's handpicked by phoenix <laughs> 
Um, you decide then, as a as a jeweler, as you normally do, you decide that. You want to add that little extra little chain on Phenoctuses, so you add that specifically to fl make it flourish a little bit more. And then you add a little extra things to the gear brooch, too. You add a couple more gears to make it a little bit more, you know, becoming of a, of a gala. Because you, of course, know how galas can be. For the gears, would you like to insert any jewels into this item? Because as of right now, it's just a whole bunch of gears that are kind of overlaid each other. Well, they gotta look pretty. Mm -hmm. What kind would you like to insert? Citrine, do you want to keep with like that kind of theme or do you want to go for a ruby, have a, a little splash of red, or do you want to go with maybe a sapphire or emerald? What do you think would, when you think of Chang, what color do you think of? I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking like blacks and browns, so like citrine is like kind of like an orangey. It's right? kind of an orangey, so it kind of goes with the it's theme of the stuff. cogs and gears and everything that you have going yeah. anyway. So it's very, it goes very well that with one. the theme. So you go with like a citrine, so it's very kind of a, not quite amber, but a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so you, you kind of delicately inset that. And I will have you roll an arcane for your first brooch. Yes. And it is Noctis's brooch, since you brought up Noctis's brooch first. <laughs> Did you get a nat 20? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. So 31. <laughs> 31? Oh. Okay. Noctis. When being identified for any magic, 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 magic on your person, they have to be the 31. God bless you, Cassie. Oh. <laughs> Even Noelle is, like, shocked. Like, you do it. You do it so fucking well. You're just like, oh da -da -da. You, do, you add the magic. You put the inscriptions, like, on the little tiny legs of the spider, too. Like, that little magic script that you have to put onto it. And, like, pristine. It's beautiful. <laughs> you are just a magic fucking guru. I I don't understand. Okay, let's try Chang's. Because <laughs> there is a DC you have to beat, and you just killed it, so... Let's see if you can kill it again. Please hold. Why can't I ma math in my brain? I mean... 23. 23, okay. So, for Chang, they have to beat a 23, which is still rather fucking high. I always forget how high your, your arcana is. Okay. <laughs> this one's going to be a little bit harder. The DC is higher. Do you want to work on your gloves first or Ellen Wee's clutch first? I'll do... I feel like she would do the clutch first. The clutch first, okay? Yeah. Okay. And do keep in mind, you do get one assistance mm -hmm. with Noelle for these specifically. So you do get advantage on these rolls. Oh. Okay. So please roll... You're arcane. You're arcan. You're arcan. 
<sighs> and we're working on Ellen Wee right now. Do I just get one assist for either, like, either this one or this one, or you can one either on each? have that assist with Ellen Wee's clutch or with your gloves? So I got a twenty-one. Okay. Are you going to use that assist with the clutch, or are you going to use the assist with the gloves? The gloves. The gloves. Okay. The gloves, because I want, I want that axe. <laughs> yep. 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 Okay. Roll for your assist. Did you get another net 20? 29. 29. No, but it's a 29. Okay. Okay. So just know that they have to be the 29 for your gloves when they do their magic check on you. They have to beat a 21 for Ellen Wee. And, and you're pretty confident with like, you're like, okay, I think I could, these look really good, okay. And while you were doing this, this is basically your entire day working on these guys, because it's you and Noelle. She's writing down the script that you have to basically inset into each of these things one at a time. And like, it's very intricate, you can't mess up any of these things. And then once you're all done, you kind of take a breath, you're breathing a little like, Okay. Keys, bow. How are we gonna do that? So now you have time to think about the bow. You can come up with a different idea. Or you can stay with the idea of shrinking it down and then letting it activate when she wants to activate it. You do not know if this magic will completely work or not because it is shrinking an item down and then trying to use an, another item that she will be wearing to cloak it. So it's basically two steps. Or you can try and figure out an item. I will let you think about it. We will now go to Chang, Ellen Wee, and Asa. As they are heading to the grove to kind of meet up with the cousin, as well as the rest of you, who are, you know, out and about over by the big dome area where you guys are going to uh, have that gala event. It takes you guys a little bit, Chang, because you, you don't like coming to the Grove. It's the Grove. The only times you have ever really set foot here is during the festival and during the fair. So very, very different and normally that big event isn't anywhere near the buildings that you're going to. But you do know that you want to go see So Young. Because she might be able to help you if you're able to be convincing enough. You know that So Young's worked with Valor for 15 years. So she's the longest secretary to Valor that he's ever had. All other secretaries have maybe lasted five years at max before they've left as far as your knowledge is aware. 
You, of course, know that Valor has a son. Fucking asshole. But we don't talk about him very often because he's an asshole, you know? Fun stuff. But you do have a couple people that you know that do live in the Grove as well. Some that you know know, some that you are just aware of. So make sure to take a look at that. But as you make your way, Is there anything you want to speak to Asa and Ellen Wee about, or anything you want to do in the grove as you're headed to that location? Duh. Hold on, let me open my, my slides. Your slides! Ah! Where are they? Where are they? I'm on them right now. I'm looking at them. Ah, I'm like... <laughs> I just have to have them load. Okay. In a long time. Nasty. Smelly. That smelly smell. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you would know the area that you kind of are going through is the um is the steel district. The one that you kind of okay. go up and then over to the grove. Um the one that's to the north, that's the powder district. You would know the powder oh. district more than you would know the steel district. Of course. Because mm -hmm, the Powder District, of course, covers fireworks. But more Americanized fireworks, so they're a little bit more lame, because Bim Bam knows what's up. Bim Bam knows the of real course. technique. The <laughs> real <laughs> technique. I love him. <laughs> okay, uh, where is the... Which one? Where's the Grove one? <clears throat> where is it? Well, if you can see where my little thing is, you can see where I'm it is. I'm trying to find you. There you are. Yeah. I was like, where are you? I'm like, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here. Growth <laughs> okay, information is above, and then you have people you might know. So people you might know. All right. Then is the bluebird folk that you know that lives in the, that works at the Bluebell Bar that's in the Steel District area. Um, and then you have Droggle. Um, he works in the general markets area. Your grandfather would often get in, like, supplies from him once in a while. Oh, hey! Certain somebody is here also. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone has to see her, but it ain't me. Yeah. <laughs> so... Hold on. So you can either speak to them if you want to see if they know anything, because they are more localized, uh -huh. or you can just head to the location that you guys are meant to go to. Hold on, hold on. Because, like, I know Chang wanted to make stuff mm -hmm. later, mm -hmm. so he might need supplies. Okay, so if you were going to talk to Druggle, he's in the markets. Hmm. And this is, you know, Droggle. He's like a crotchety, older <laughs> gentleman. He's like <laughs> almost 600 years old. He's Sweet been God. around the bend a few times. <laughs> Why is he? He's, Are you still alive? <laughs> he's originally from the gardens before he fucking dipped out before a lot of shit happened. Um, like, the only thing that, like, still signifies that he's from the garden is, like, a little leaf pin that he has on his person, but he talks Did shit Lena? about the gardens all the oh. fucking time. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that's funny. He calls them racist bastards. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately. <laughs> He's just a crotchety old man. 
He is ancient. He is. Yeah, he is. I might as well go to him since he's so ancient. I'm like, oh, you're ancient. I'm in need of ancient news. Like, (laughs) he's fucking old. Old man. All right, let's talk to the old. You're going to go to Drogol? I mean, wait. Shit. (laughs) You would know that your grandfather. He only speaks business with Droggle, because Droggle does not, like, fluff talk. You have ah. a reason to go there. If you're not going to buy anything, fuck off. Ah, uh, just kidding. Hold mm-hmm. <laughs> he's I not, mean, he's not, he's not a small no. talk kind of guy. But if, okay. you're, if you're looking for steel, if you're looking for gunpowder, if you're looking for, like, anything like that, he's your fucking guy. <sighs> <laughs> He's basically your uh your powder monkey. So if you needed anything to make ammo, he's the guy to go to. Oh, I do need as I mean all the ammo I can get, I would be happy with that. I also would like <laughs> those those uh weapons I wanted to make. Where is my list? Yeah. It's like did I not put it here? Yo, I thought I put it in my channel. I didn't see anything recently. Oh, it's because I didn't specify what they were. Bit <laughs> stupid. What were you trying to do? You remember that, that, that the weapons we were talking about that I wanted to make? I didn't actually put them in Chang's channel. Weapons? Yeah, the ones that are non-magical. Like, physical weaponry? Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we are. Okay, I put them in a different channel. Okay, um, I was like, I don't see anything in your in your uh, channel. I see is the notes about Noel. Yeah, it's like stuff I can um, hide in his clothes. Or he can hide in his clothes, because there's... Well, cr- crystalline is magical, though, isn't it? Crystalline is something to amplify magic, and it does contain some magical properties in and of itself. Yeah, that's the problem. Damn. But it's also a very sought-after stone, as you guys had found out in Valentine Valley, that probably yeah. rich fucks here would wear it for, you know... But dazzling, just like <laughs> I'm wearing crystalline, <laughs> like those kinds of people. Funny you mentioned that. Um, so he was in need of smoke bombs, <clears throat> hoppers. Uh, shrapnel bombs. Uh, where is it? Ball bearings? Ball bearings, like, they're very, um... <laughs> not, they're... <laughs> like a little bag of them, <laughs> like... And, uh, you know, for practical use, uh, nothing special, just for the funsies. Uh, okay, <laughs> are you gonna make it into, like... Like a bracelet or something, so you can snap it and just fucking. So funny you mentioned that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was like, there I'm was a little, sure. there was a little necklace thing he wanted to make. Um, let me find it. Uh, da, 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 da. this is what you need, Nix and Bim Bam to help you with. Right? Yes, I need a Nix and Bim Bam. Nix because she's the jeweler, and Bim Bam because he Explosive. he can make things go boom. Yeah. Uh, it was gonna be their collaborative effort so they can make like a sort of necklace. It won't blow up on a person, the person that's wearing it. They have to like physically take off the the jewelry piece and like, so, like smash it. Like, like like the necklace of fireball kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They have to like take the little piece off of the necklace and then like smack it into the ground for it to blow off. Got it. If that makes sense, because mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm, like it's mm-hmm. a it's an explosion on contact type of deal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So basically, um, it would be like a uh, a glass outer rim, and once that glass shatters, then it will go. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Something like that. Um, 
Because, like, you know, it, it looks unassuming on the outside because it's just jewelry. Mm -hmm. But, like, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. I, 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 get, I get what you're throwing down. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. <laughs> So you could get some of the... <clears throat> but you could get ball bearings directly from Droggle. He would have those okay. available. Um, yeah. You could also get the ingredients you would need for a smoke bomb. He would oh. have those. And then you okay. could also get some shrapnel from him as well. Easy. Perfect. It's Because it's just little bits and pieces of, like, shavings and, like, some rougher, jagged edges bits. So, question. Mm-hmm. Can he enhance shrapnel bombs with crystalline? Or would that be... That would then turn it into a magical item. Just kidding. Let's not do that. <laughs> yeah. I need I need non-magical allies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> boom, yeah. Boom. If you were if you were <laughs> looking to basically if you add crystalline to anything, it yeah. then becomes a magical item. Okay, can't do that. That's too much work. Mhm. Mm <laughs> All right. Except maybe the necklace like no. It depends on how you make the necklace, but there are ways to make the necklace so it does mm. not have magic properties. Yeah, because I mean, like, he does, he will have the brooch mm -hmm. of concealment, mm -hmm. so like... You could. Yeah. Especially considering Cassie rolled you a 23. <laughs> so... <laughs> 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 Cassie's just like nah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I win. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a pretty little necklace, you know. We can yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like don't look at my. Pearls. So, if you wanted to <laughs> buy all the necessary supplies from him, you would be looking at about fifty-two gold for everything right. that you would just be flat out. Hold on, let me look at my bank account. <laughs> How does do, do the champions look at their money? Do they just have it clinking around? In my brain, you guys have like a small little like bag that you're able to just like <laughs> look at, put a bag. <laughs> I was about to be like, <laughs> I'm like, that's a lot of money to be carrying around. Yeah, yeah. You guys, yeah. you guys have a fair amount of cash, but you um, know. I, I'm I'm just slightly short, so I'm gonna have to use my <laughs> abilities. You're actually gonna use your abilities? I only need a little for like, money. I, I, li listen, listen. He has forty-seven gold. He just needs a little bit more. Okay. He doesn't have to produce a lot. He can produce the tiniest little ball of. Crystal. Ash, keep in mind, this is like you duplicating hundred-dollar bills. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> gold is what? actually a lot. Damn it! <laughs> so oh, I'm just yeah. just putting Do that onto change. your conscience. No! Why? <laughs> Stop! Maybe he's gonna consult with us on Ellen. Y'all got an extra couple gold. Oh yeah, Ellen. We <laughs> she just hands it over. Okay, so okay, you okay, have great, right great, now. Thanks. You're, you're, she you is put, you're so fucking rich. You know? She has you the are. money. <laughs> he's like you're an angel. Also, just is like. No. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm a broke bitch. <laughs> he is like, I have the money that that people have given me. That's He's the like, only I thing have... I have to my name. <laughs> like, I have two pennies to my name. <laughs> okay, okay, so yeah, I, we're gonna. All right, with the with our powers combined, we can afford these items. Ellen, we doesn't even care. She's just like. Need anything else? I, I am so sorry. I got sorry. platinum. I, I got gold. So <laughs> what do you need? Oh yeah, she does. She has platinum. That obvious. <laughs> I... <laughs> get mugged around here. <laughs> so you are able to get that uh, fifty-two. Let me just uh, deplete my sources here. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. How do I? And you said you had how many pieces of gold? It was like 40 I was 47 down 47. the toilet. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay. You could have haggled with Droggle, but... Chang is a good boy. Yeah, man, he's just <laughs> gonna, somehow. he's just gonna Despite pay this everything, man. he's... Oh yeah, he's like, mm, what do you want? 
He's like, money. <laughs> Here's some money. Oh god, he's ancient. Horrible. Take it! Go! <laughs> <laughs> he just came from business and he's leaving with the business. Yep, just, you know, living his life. <laughs> getting the, uh tools to make bombs and then going to the grove hmm nothing out of the ordinary <laughs> here oh <laughs> i don't look like and then the you of threat. course like us is sitting there with like the food that you guys had gotten oh yeah that's right we <laughs> i'm so sorry Asa. you're like our meal right now <laughs> that's a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> and you just Spent it all, without even haggling, for anything. James just, <laughs> James just like, what? I don't haggling. Do you not know what haggling is? Does Jane know what haggling is? You would know. Your grandpa does it all the fucking time. You, you know, he might pause and be like, "Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait! Oh, oh no!" Well, it's um, too late now. It's I don't really know what haggling it. What's haggling? <laughs> you know, uh, <clears throat> trying to get things for a lower price. Wait, people do that? Yeah. Oh. Because some of us are poor. <laughs> I, d I didn't mean to. Oh. <laughs> Asa just gives Ellen we like a really are you fucking kidding me? And she's just like You have to remember where I you have to remember where I grew up and like how I grew up, like money. I think Ellen we might just be the richest person Chang has ever talked to in his entire life. Probably. I didn't mean to no. It's it's I know it's you okay. didn't mean it's, to, but <laughs> Still oh hurts. God. Guys, it's okay. It's 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen was like Oh no. Chang <laughs> Chang just like puts a hand on Asa. It's like are you are, are you okay? I'm perfectly fine, it's just I've never seen that much gold in my entire life. <laughs> he just starts walking. He doesn't know where he's going. He's like, where are we going? Uh, to mm, where? <laughs> which, which direction are we going? Oh, okay. um. I have food for your cousin. Yes, yes. And you're able yes, to Yes, that's point. where we're going. Yeah, and you were able to yeah, start yes. that way. So you, of course, know exactly where you're going to go. You're gonna go to basically the building that's to the left of the other building that you guys are Excellent. trying to scope out. Um, because that's kind of where Valor's somewhat office is if he's- Disgusting. He's there, but then if he's not there, he's kind of in a different location, but you don't really know where that is. So Nasty. you're able to kind of head over there. Um, they stop you at the gate. Okay, of course. So. <sighs> Who are you here to see? What's her name again? <laughs> <laughs> it's your cousin, Ash. I, I know. I don't know how to pronounce her name. So young. So young. Okay. So it's like so I'm young, bringing... but it's like young. So young. So young. So young. Ri. Bringing... So, so, so young. So young. Ri. Yep. Yeah. He's just. I'm just bringing her lunch. Forgot it. We'll notify her, see if she accepts you or not. Your name? Feng Zhao. Okay, one moment. Kind of, as the three of you kind of pause, and he goes around the bend, takes a little bit, comes back out, has one pass in hand. Ah. And hands it to you. Oh no. You're gonna go in to the main area. You're going to take a left. She's going to meet you close to the uh, entrance to the West Wing. Okay. Thank you, sir. The other two will have to stay. Okay. He just, like, shares a look with Asa and Ellen will be like, oh no. Ellen is just going to give you two thumbs up. 
Like, you got this. Oh. Also, it's just like... You'll be okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So it's just like, oh man. Did you, they go and meet up with the others? They're gonna wait for you to come back out. Oh, they, well that's kind of them. He appreciates They're kind you. people, damn it. <laughs> I don't know them that well. Yeah. He just barely started accepting that us is a nice person. <laughs> Not just a full-blown killer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Alan, we show nothing. Show nothing but kindness. You're right. You're absolutely correct. Um, he's just gonna scurry on in so he doesn't waste their time. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. So you're it's, gonna it, It'd be business in. over here. The area you... Roll an intelligence for me as you enter <sighs> kind of basically... Basically, this is like the White House, but not, not quite the White House. Oh god, no. The pressure is on. Am I even dressed appropriate? I'm gonna pretend I am. Uh. Mm -mm. No! You're not. You stick out like a sore okay. thumb. Why? When does he not? Oh. oh! I almost had a good number. <laughs> the guy said, nah, you stupid today. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll a perception for me as well. Oh, a perception. Okay, so 11 on intelligence. Uh-huh. I was gonna give you yeah, a history Oh, the perception. Perception's good, though. Okay. Uh, that's a 17. Okay. This whole inside of the building is, like, marble. Oh. You got the marble pillars. You got a whole bunch of statues here and there with different, like, basically leaders of the grove. You got a big, huge one of valor that's, like, kind of in the entrance Disgusting. area with his, like, his hands <clears throat> like this upward with his, like, feathers and shit. Um, you got different um, statues of all the different gods that they celebrate here. Um, they have, of course, they have, um, Stolthet, they have Frihet, um, they have Uplop, and they have Rat. Um, you, of course, do not see Kaja Bes Bemstara, Bemstara. Uh -huh. Um, the, the chains, you don't see the chains, obviously. Disgusting. Because they are banned. Yes. Um. As they should. Yep. So you see basically the huge one for um, free hit, which is rifles and shields. Um, you see a giant glove. You see one that looks like a huge cannon. And then, of course, you see a very, very large one that looks like scales. Because that one, of course, is yeah. law, order, scales, creation. That's kind of what like that one is. Um, but that one mm -hmm. also is very very celebrated by people in power and people in the military and people in like the police force and that kind of thing um mm -hmm. that seems to be like the main one that's celebrated in this location is frat um but you are able to make your way people here is like they business people they be wearing like suit tie you any female that you pass is wearing a skirt long length like blazer on high neck kind of like attire very very refined everyone is very very covered and it's very very muted colors so you don't very see stuffy it. in here it's very stuffy and Ugh. like People here, as you're, like, walking around, as you're, like, slowly walking to where you need to go, people aren't just looking around. People have a mission. They're gonna go do it. They're not paying anyone mind. But once in a while, you see an eye do the whole, like, look down and up at you, kind of roll their eyes and keep going. The good news is he doesn't have his cone hat on so it's a little less terrible but you are wearing clothing of not the grove indeed so mm -hmm. he's just gonna you know pull his robes a little more closed and tighten his sash because mm -hmm. he's showing a little bit too much right now oh yeah so you get a little bit closer and you can see 
a very, very large looking like archway that is basically okay. called, it says in big letters, the West Wing. Okay. There are guards on either side. There's two very large statues of eagles that are there that are not Valor, but they kind of look like Valor because they're eagles and they're oh, kind gosh. of like, they kind of like <laughs> stone like. Um, but you see a very, very familiar, heavy set gnome with the very long hair that's braided on one side. Very large, almost like Coke bottle glasses that are kind of on the tip of her, her nose. She's and cute. she also is wearing a skirt full, full length. She is wearing a white shirt with a gray vest. Um, she does have a small little indication, though, the tiniest indication that she's from Yonghua. And you can see it kind of underneath the vest as she kind of moves. You see a familiar knot tassel. Oh. That she kind of keeps oh. hidden and close to her. Um, Damn, sorry to embarrass my cousin. Shit. But if you were to see her on the streets of the Grove, you would think she was a Grovian. Yeah. You would think she's from there. That little blip that you kind of see, because it is in, like, a blue color. Mm -hmm. Hidden. That's the only indication that she is from Yanhua. Okay. Um, as you get closer, she kind of adjusts her glasses and goes, Chang, what are you doing here? <laughs> so embarrassed. He's just, like, bringing you food. It's a nice gesture, but you've never brought me food. Is, gra <laughs> is Grandpa okay? I haven't seen him yet. You gave me a heart attack. I thought you were going to come here and tell me he died or something. I wouldn't be here if he died. I would be, uh, you know, a mess. <laughs> well, I'm kind of still. Thank you for the food. You see her kind of like put out her hand <laughs> to receive it from you. <laughs> and like, make another <laughs> perception roll for me. <laughs> oh no, please. <laughs> That's another 17. You know when you buy, like, Chinese food and it has a very, very, like, obvious smell? It's Chinese food. Uh, be ashamed of the culture, girl! You know so she's immediately going to have to, like, eat it quickly. Oh, I see. Or dispose of it because you're in the grove. Yeah, yeah. And there's a kind of like a civil war going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's being so intelligent right now. He's not doing the best for his cousin. <laughs> She's held this job for 15 years for yeah. a reason. Yep, yep. Because yep. she's told people multiple times not to come to the grove. Yeah. Basically leave her be. <sighs> and you came to the grove with yep. smelly food yep. of her homeland. <laughs> uh, yep. And you see her kind of like shift and look at, kind of do the side glance at the two guards who are kind of like, you can, you can almost feel the judgment, you know, like when you pass people and you can feel that like, them staring at you, and you can feel that judgment. You can automatically feel it. And it's not on you. It's on her. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Um, my screen is frozen and I missed what you said. Um. I said, you know when you pass people and you can feel their eyes on you and, like, feel that judgment? Yeah. That's what those guards are doing. Not to you, but to your cousin. Oh, no. And you can see her kind of shifting a little bit. Is that all you need? 
No, but I can't ask you things here. Thank you so much for the delivery. Where should I pay you? Um, She's giving you a look. Yeah, yeah, but I, I can't see anything or he, it keeps... You're fine. You don't have to see me for this. I wasn't motioning. She's basically giving you a look of say something that you need me to go towards the outside or for us to get away from this location. She's basically yeah, giving for, you a reason being like, oh, I forgot the receipt yeah, at yeah, my yeah. bike like, for delivery. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah, that's essentially what he's going to do because he wants her out of the building and away you're from gonna the You're going to have to roll performance. Places. Oh, no. Hold on, my, my computer's, uh, freaking out. Fabulous. I can't even access my page. Hello, where are you? Hello? Hello? I hear you. Roll for performance. Fuck. For whatever reason, Discord's not working, but I guess- Oh, no. Works. Oh, that's bad. Oh. That's very bad. What'd you roll? That was a 10. Okay. So you I'm immediately so kind of go, Yeah, you're welcome. Outside, we need go. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this so much for him. I'm so sorry, Chang. And you see her go, Okay. And she immediately goes, one moment, let me just put the food in my office, and I'll be right out with some money. And I'll... Okay, one moment. And she kind of, like, turns, lowers her head as she passes the guards. And you can see, like, them kind of, like, give her a look. She goes in, puts it somewhere, and she comes out with, like, her coin purse, kind of. And mm -hmm. she immediately motions, and hurriedly motions you out like follow me yeah, now yeah, yeah. and so she's he, gonna yeah, he's doing that quickly um i need you to roll a quick stealth for me and i'm gonna roll one for her okay she um so my entire screen is black uh that's if okay I drop the call it's why that's okay stealth stealth um, you said st stealth yeah because she's, she's trying to go a little sneaky sneak real quick and trying to pull you into an area so you guys can have a somewhat private conversation. Yeah, I'm... This is killing me slowly, hold on. For whatever reason, my computer's fucking garbage. Oh. Alright, that was... You said it was stealth? Mm-hmm. That was a 16. Okay. So, luckily enough, as you guys round the corner, she suddenly kind of jerks you into what looks to be somewhat like a closet area. Chang, are you insane? Why would you even bring any of that here, of all places? Who was the one that gave him the idea? I'm trying to remember. Wasn't it Taisu? Yeah. Fuck <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Tiny Flake Tiny Susan, man, tell me this is what I should bring. You can thank him. He. Tai Su. Tai Su's done it a few times, but he's always dressed to look like a different area and brought me food from the grove to me. I haven't really had a lot of time to think things through lately. <sighs> what is this I'm about? Sorry, what is this about? Uh, he's like looking around, looking around. We are in a broom closet. Okay, okay. <laughs> good, good. And he's like, you never know, people could be listening. Oh, multiple people could be listening at any time. This is the growth. I know. Um, I need your help. Uh, with what? The gala. I know you got an invitation. You're, you're, you're going, right? There's a lot of people that want to meet you. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Literally, his voice drops. That's awful. You are Glory Grove's champion. Of course, people are gonna want to meet you. Uh. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Oh. Um, did you not think anyone would want to? I was kind of hoping. Oh, I mean, I didn't dear. even want to go, but, you know, here I am. Okay. Um, I need to uh, <laughs> prepare, and um, I kind of, you know, have never been somewhere like that before, and I was hoping maybe you could help me out. What? With, like, how to greet people properly? Or, like, certain protocols and, like, that kind of thing? Like, like, have you ever been inside? Of the gala? Yeah. I've been to it every year. Really? What's it like? It's a gala. It's really stuffy people and... I mean, I bring my girlfriend every year, but, like, seriously, come on. <laughs> it's stuffy people talking about stuffy things and eating too much food that's too good for them. <laughs> rich people making rich decisions. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. <sighs> this is This is going to... Um... You're gonna hate me for this. Um... <laughs> I... I need to know... What the inside looks like. Like... Do you realize how sketchy you just sounded? I am very aware. There is no other way to make that sound. Chang. This is my work. I know. Please, don't do anything that would get me fired, or I don't know, maybe a target on the family's head? That actually gets a little upset. Oh no. <clears throat> These people know me, and they know that I'm related to you. So anything you do will reflect on me. And I am the secretary of the leader of Glory Grove. <laughs> I understand my apprehension about what you've just told me. I hate to break this to you, but the... <laughs> There's already a big target on our family's back, and Grandpa was just the tip of the iceberg of what could possibly happen to all of you. No, Grandpa's incident was... I was told it was a mugging. Uh, no, it wasn't. Chang, what do you mean, what... I can't tell you much right here. We're still in the building. What? I get off at five o'clock. 
Meet me at home. We can have a conversation then. I was gonna go and have a nice dinner, but apparently I'm not gonna go do that now. He's like, he like looks at her in the eye and says, <clears throat> he's just like, make up any kind of lie for why I was here. Just any kind. Stay safe, please. <laughs> Take private a persuasion. Clock. Okay. With advantage because okay. it's family. All right. Oh, I don't think I need advantage. <laughs> Finally. Um. Why is that higher, but not my performance? It's the same fucking skill set. What? Oh, it's because I have proficiency. Let's see. Is your judgment repeated? That's 22. Oh, yeah. She, you kind of like, you make eye contact with her and she finally, you see like a pause. And your cousin, she's always been a little distant with you because she is older than you. Mm -hmm. But she's always been rather quiet when it comes to things. And like, she kind of goes silent. And you kind of see that she registers the severity in your expression. Yeah, he is dead serious. And in her mind, worried. Chang is still little kid Chang. Because she is about 100. Oh, shit. He's a baby. He's like a fetus compared to her. Oh, yeah. Like, the rest of your family is pretty old, except for uh, Konu, you... And Chen Young. You guys are all the um, youngest, and of course, way young. Everyone else is like kind she, of older. Can she perceive that he looks quite roughed up? Oh, oh yeah. She's, she's 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 kind of taking you in now. And kind of going, there's something going on, and I've been kept in the dark about this. I don't know what's going on. So you see her kind of just not a little. Kind of like you see her like cheeks puff up as she lets out like a really big breath. She goes, Okay. I'll just say that I decided to order food. <sighs> you haven't been feeling well because your grandfather is not doing well. Yeah. You needed something. To remind me of him, or to calm me down. Comfort food, per se. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I'll be honest. The I'm sure they don't sucks. care. But, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ugh. <laughs> you know how many pot pies they eat here? Dis I'm so sorry. Disgusting. <laughs> frozen peas. Have you ever had frozen peas? I would rather not. Yeah, they eat frozen peas all the time. <laughs> and gravy, so much gravy, I don't understand. <laughs> these people, these Grovians, I don't know. He's okay. smiling a little because he kind of needs that yeah. lightheartedness. <laughs> yeah, she's like, Ugh. Um, she kind of nods, she goes, okay, um, we'll talk at home, five o'clock. Five o'clock? Okay. I might bring some people, if that's okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> just, you just see prepared. the pain in her face. She's just like, ugh, people. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, trust me, this is gonna be the least of your worries. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. You're amazing. I'm, Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you for the food. You're welcome. Chang, be safe. <laughs> He's just okay. And she's gonna let you leave first, and then she's gonna wait a little bit yeah. in the closet before exiting. 
not not weird at all. Of course not. Oh yeah, no. It, she's like, she decided to bring out like some paper towel kind of like rags type thing. Like she's gonna go and clean something up. Yeah. He's just but going to just uh, going. hurry the fuck out yeah. of there. As you Looking exit, like the guard goes. It, but not like, yeah. yeah. As you exit, the guard is like, give me the pass. Chang uh, hands it courteously. Mm -hmm. And you're able straight through out again. So, how'd it go? <laughs> she needs, like, he, like, holds up his hand. He needs a moment to <laughs> That was bad. <laughs> How bad are we talking? Let's just say I wasn't dressed right and I didn't bring the right stuff. But I accomplished what we need. We need to go back home at five. And we'll get what we need. Well, that's going to be in like how many more hours? Eh, probably about five hours. Yeah, that's... Five, so until six then. Hours. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. The others are around here. Asa, I got it. I got it. Noctis, where are you exactly? Um, we're here. We just got done speaking to uh, Chang's cousin. Mm, okay. Uh. Where are we in relation to where they are? The, you guys aren't that far. Like, you're basically, you guys, if you look around enough, you could probably spot them across that main center area because you guys are, if I recall, you guys are kind of, yeah, we're, yeah. Tasha has it. You guys are kind of over there. They're over, they're about here. I didn't see anything. Oh, okay. See, see, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, so you guys are kind of like in this main center square with a huge, huge um, statue in the middle that has all four um, gods that they celebrate here. And then above them is an eagle that's like ah, going towards the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it's kind of like yeah, the so main square, but it's busy because you got a lot of people going in between some of those different buildings and everything. But if you guys look, uh -huh. you can probably see them in the distance. Um, yeah, so he'll probably just be like, we're by this uh, giant building that we've been scoping out. We're, we're just hanging out up front. All right, we see a giant. Well, we're we'll next to two giant buildings. We're next to a building that has, uh, I think, four giant-looking birds on top of it. You would be able to mm -hmm. see that the big giant birds are the one that they're at, so they're close by. Yeah. Um, meet in the middle, over by the uh, statue. Yeah, sounds good. Meet you there. Okay. So. Yeah, so Noctis is going to relay that to Key and Venry. He's going to be like, hey, uh, Asa just messaged me. We're going to meet up at that statue right there. Do you think it's wise for us to all meet in the middle of the area that we're trying to scope out? That's what I was thinking. Then shit, I'll go. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> um, might be back. Probably be back. Still need to scope this place out. True. Um, I want to try and get a better look, so I think I'm going to go a little bit higher up. Need a... Wait, hang on. Fuck. Did we... Did we take a short rest? Fuck, we didn't, did we? Mm -mm, not yet. Mm -mm, not yet. Okay, uh, he's gonna... Okay, no Noctis is gonna look at Venery and he's gonna say... What's gonna be more beneficial to you? True sight or invisibility? Probably 
probably invisibility right now. All right. That way I don't really have to cover where I'm at. Let me double check. Where are you going? Up. He kind of points across and you guys see a very large looking tower. And he kind of gives you a flash of like um, some paper that he has. Go make a sketch of it. Get the schematics as close as I can do, anyway. All right. Just for shits and giggles, Key, do you also want to be invisible? <laughs> Am I, I going I up? I mean, you you can, but I'm legitimately just going to be sketching. You could take a look around while you're invisible. I'm just asking because I I think this is the last spell I have in me right now. Might as well make it count if you want it. I mean, I guess, sure. All right. I don't. You can always drop it when you want. I, I'm not worried about when I want. I'm more so, I don't know. <laughs> Just cast it on me for now. All right. He's going to tap Venry on the shoulder and cast invisibility. You, um, Key, you feel his hand on your shoulder for a moment. He goes, I'd rather you go with them, make sure that they have the right information, and maybe relay information that we have to them. So I don't think we told everything to Noctis. I just want to make sure that we have everything covered. <laughs> no. Can Noctis hear this? Oh, yeah! <laughs> he just eyeing Key and the place where Venry was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he, probably still got his hand on Venry's shoulder and he just gives it like a, a squeeze. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He's just like, well, just want to make sure we're getting the right information, mate. And he's going to slip away. <laughs> <laughs> that was his low-key thing of, I trust you with the information more than I trust him with the information. <laughs> yeah, oh no, he got that. <laughs> He's a dude. Oh, <laughs> he knows. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when he, like, gripped his shoulder too, there was a little bit of nail. Mm -hmm. Like, he's got, he's got the long sharp claws. Oh yeah, There's oh a yeah. a little bit of that. Oh yeah, I, that's what I was imagining too, like that little... <laughs> like, yeah. excuse me. <laughs> and he's gonna go off and do his little sketchy sketch from the outside to get a better idea of what your guys' plan of action might be. Alright, I think Noct is gonna try and make this seem as casual as possible so they don't seem suspicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think, like, once they meet up with the other group, um, Nox is just gonna, like, like, quickly, like, pull Asa into a hug and do, be, like, a little bit dramatic. Okay. Like, they're meeting up, and yep. he's like, Do yeah. a performance for me. Is Asa dressed like Noctis and Key are? Did they change? Yeah, Asa changed. Okay. Asa would have changed the moment he left. Like, he's wearing, he like... Trying because Shang didn't change, so I wasn't sure. No, if Asa definitely changed because he just changed in general to fit more Glory Grove. So he's full on newsy right now. So he's got the little hat. Yeah. He's got like a vest going on with the suspenders under it. He has the long sleeves. He's got the pants. Like he's he's looking like the part right now. So Asa's looking correct. Ellen, we kind of does but there's still a flare that she has because she wears a lot of white um but she's doing more white and browns right now um but all of you guys together it looks correct to some people but others not so much because chang is wearing young hua outfit and 
The other one that's kind of throwing it off is Ellen Wee because she's wearing a mix of what a formal person might wear in Valentine Valley with a flare of Glory Grove. So not completely, but just enough. So it's like someone who's paying attention would go, hmm, this is weird. But someone passing, like most of these people are just going about their day, are just like, oh, it's a meeting happening. Whatever. <laughs> because um, I know that Noctis did their, like, phew. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, actually, I'm about to pull it up, show you what he's wearing. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think, like, he would, uh, kind of, like, go over, <laughs> go over and, like, pull off into, like, a tight hug, mm -hmm. and then kind of, like, pull back and be like, you look kind of cute in this. He's gonna pull his hat over his face a little bit. <laughs> Just kind of give a smirk. Um, um, and then my performance was, uh, 21. Okay. Um, easy enough. It just looks like a group of co-workers coming together and like a servant like <laughs> and a servant and a servant which is of course chang at this point like <laughs> it's okay noctis was a servant once too apparently that's what it looks like just like yeah because i mean like it's not normal for especially someone from yonhua to be in the political district right now like <laughs> <laughs> it's so yeah um so what do you guys find out not much um fuck I should have prepared um it's fine I'll just summarize because you all heard it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, he's just going to kind of explain. <laughs> um, like what he saw when he let his spider go crawling through there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They kind of nod a little bit. I think Chang has. Um, they're going to get some information from the cousin, maybe. Later tonight. Five. Five o'clock. Yeah, I don't know how well that's gonna go, though. They were very <laughs> stuffy at getting you in there. Was she, like, good about that, or no? <laughs> oh, God. And he's like, yeah. Kind of, they kind of nod and they're like, okay, okay. Yeah, he, he looks very uncomfortable. It's, yeah. He's, it's hitting that he is not looking the part yeah. that he needs. To. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I see the two of you. Where's the other one? Being Venry. That makes he's, sense. He's drawn. He's just being Venry. <laughs> That's fair. Alright, um, so is he gonna meet us down here? How long does one of his drawings take? He didn't uh, exactly say! I'm sure he'll meet, meet up with you, I'm sure. We should probably leave, he looks down at Chang, because some of us don't really... I mean, I'm still slightly blue. There's not a lot of blue people here, so... I would feel Chang's more just like, trust me, I'm the sore thumb here. And he just starts walking. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ellen Wee's like, just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Chang's just he needs to get out of here. This place is not good for his mental mm -hmm. health. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, 
<laughs> so are we gonna head back to the location then and then we're gonna head at about you said five over to your cousins five mm-hmm. all right Key, are and you, you don't right? think we should should what what do you mean shouldn't what oh i stopped because also said yeah no he, he was kind of like kind of doing like a Kind of thing, but you said something, so he's going yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I was I was just wondering if you think we should give up checking this place out so easily. Are we we that sure that Cheng's cousin can help us? She's been inside every year. Okay. I mean, as long as we have maybe someone, maybe a little bit more persuasive no offense Chang I know she's family but maybe if we explain the severity oh oh she'll she'll help when she- oh, I can always I can always uh, give him a little you know a little guidance a little a little nudge maybe mm-hmm. maybe I I got it guys really she'll she'll want to help after she hears what I have to all right. So, you were able to find a few doors, but you said that it's like two separate things. You got the outer wall, you got a garden, and then you have the inner side, correct? Yeah. All right. You must have just saw, like, a bunch of offices. Mm-hmm. Very, very convoluted inside. Okay. All right. It's like a maze. Um, key Asa is shifting so that he can kind of like put his hand like on your upper back to kind of be like you okay you seem off kind of thing kind of like uh, I'm here but like not saying anything Um, he's gonna look at you Noctis and go alright so we should probably head back reevaluate and then once we get this sketch then maybe we can uh, get more information, correct? Oh, he looks so cute! <laughs> Look at him! So it kind of <laughs> nods the hat kind of thing, goes, alright, so... Uh, Chang, lead the way! We should probably uh, get out of here as quick as possible. Yeah, he's he's already like yeah. I'm outy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's, they're trailing he's out of there. Um, Lass is gonna kind of give you that side glance key. He's doing a double check. He's gonna do an insight. Big bro, Asa, coming in hot. It's taking a long time to load his sheet. <laughs> I'm like, da, 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 da. 26. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I was gonna roll a deception and I rolled him at one, so. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't fucking matter. Okay. So, what was he seeing your outer outer shell looking like? How is, how is he gauging? outer shell or like what she's actually feeling what she's actually feeling like how is she he wants to know how she's trying to be perceived and then actually seeing what she is oh trying to be perceived she's just trying to do the whole like blending in thing like Mm -hmm. she doesn't want to draw attention Mm -hmm. they don't she has eyes on them right now Mm -hmm. and then realistically she's uh you know she doesn't like that he's there that she can't see him and that she doesn't know where he is but also yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's she's uh, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot in her mind right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's very bothered. I guess that's the best way to put it. Very bothered by not just him like Venry going up there, but there's a lot of stuff that she's bothered by. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, also, it's gonna give you the 
everything will be fine look. But also the... Do we need to talk? <laughs> look. <laughs> As he does. <laughs> she uh, literally just kind of gives him a shrugs a little bit. Like, she doesn't know. That's gonna make him immediately, like, raise an eyebrow. Look at Noctis. Look back at you. And kind of go, yeah, we're talking later. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that response. Because obviously something's wrong. So you guys are gonna make your way back. Are you guys wanting to go back to Chang's place? Or back to Noel? So you guys can speak to Phoenix. Well, key to speak to Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> when are you talking about thought, this bow? I think we were probably gonna head back to Noel's, I would assume. Yeah, because you guys have a couple so hours can talk. before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that we can talk, like, freely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At least that's what I would assume. Yeah. Yes. Will Cheng ever get to see his grandpa before the gala? Because I don't want to do this and then psych go to the gala afterwards, you know, like... You're going home. So on your okay. way home, you could stop to Yaya's place and see okay. your grandpa. That's not a problem. Just, just remind me just you to want to him. see grandpa. Okay. He okay. just wants to check on him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can just be like, on our way, just want to do a check-in. And then we can have that quick yeah. conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Got mm -hmm. it. Unless you want to do that on your way back in. Do you want to do it now or do you want to do it before you go talk to your cousin? Mm. I don't know. I guess before talking to the cousin. Okay. Okay. That way you can have, like, a, a better update for her. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, so you guys are able to mosey back in. You guys are able to find Noelle's shop. Open it up. You go in. The front living room area is unoccupied at the moment. Um, but you guys do see the door open to the shop. Off to the side, and you guys can hear some small chatter between Phoenix and Noelle. And you guys can either go into the meeting room on the right side, or you guys can go grab Phoenix real quick, or you guys can go to anywhere else in Noelle's house, basically. But Phoenix, you would be just getting done with your gloves at this point. Because this would be during the time that they were doing all of that other stuff. <laughs> um, would she hear them come in? You would probably, because they have bells up top, so you hear the ding, the ding, 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 because it's oh, just, wow. you know, an extra form of security. Bells, who knew? Um, <laughs> so you guys would be like, oh, okay, they're back. Um, Noelle probably would be finishing up with, like, figuring, like, possibilities for other things off to the side so she's just writing things down if you want to go out you can okay so she's gonna nix is gonna turn to noelle and be like uh i think they're here i'm gonna go check with he and mm -hmm. see what she would want me to do because i don't want to do anything without her permission that makes sense go go and talk to her um i'll finish up some of these Options because if we do want to make it smaller, it can be a little bit complicated, especially uh, Go talk to her <laughs> Okay do, 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 do. I'll look for them. <laughs> okay, so you guys would hear like little steps in the small creek as the door opens and you guys see the uh, yellow and orange flame and hair kind of peek out Hello? <laughs> so everyone would slowly file back in. Ellen Wee kind of sits down on one of the couches, kind of yawns, so like leads back. 
Well, that was helpful. At least we have some idea. Kind of looking at everyone else. Are you guys- The change just in his own head. Okay, I was like, is everyone just like yeah. in their own world right now? All right. <laughs> um, that made him feel bad. It feels bad, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I guess Nyx would um, walk up to them and just be like, I take it everything went okay then? Because of what Alumi said. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't find out. Uh, we, mean Key and Venery, didn't find out too much, but to be honest, we didn't successful. really find out much out either. You guys found out more than we did about those extra little exits from that area. Mm. Mm. And you know at least there's two parts. We all thought that was one fucking whole building. It's technically in two separate locations. Yeah. But, uh... Hopefully we will get something a little more useful. Um, from Chang later. Mm. So you guys are going out again later? Yeah. I have to go mm. talk to I... this mate's cousin. Okay. Okay. Cool. And she's just kind of like, good, good, good. <laughs> um, and she's going to be like, uh, me and Noelle, we're working on some things to try and be able to bring things with us into the gala. I got a few things done. Um, I got something for LMB, Noctis, Chang. I made some gloves so I can bring Xylo Axe, but mm, she's gonna look at Key. She's gonna be like, I gotta talk to you, per like, specifically about something. I don't know if you want me to talk to you here. Or you want to talk private, but... She's just gonna kind of, like, look at everybody else, and then she just kind of, like, lifts around, she stands up, and then she's gonna walk. Is- is Nyx still kind of at the door? Like, standing at the door? Or yeah, did she, she come in, yeah. like, just- She came in a little bit, but not much at all, she just kind of, like... Okay, yeah, so she's just gonna, like, stand up and walk over to her. And just kind of give a- like, a small nod, like... <laughs> Let's just go talk somewhere else. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's go chat. Um, are you gonna take her in back into the shop because Noelle's just working away? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And obviously Noelle knows what's going on, so she's yeah, gonna so. Noelle is just Noelle being there. whole bunch of like papers strewn about with a whole bunch of different like equations and like arcane plans for like so many different things that you guys had worked on. Like, she has one specifically for the the Noctis brooch, one for Chang's brooch, another one for your gloves. Like, there was a lot of work that you guys had to frickin' figure things out for. Because it's a, basically, a, it's like magic math is what you guys had to figure out. <laughs> Yay math! Yay math! <laughs> All right, so when they're in there and the, the door is closed behind them, she's going to be like, so we can make one more thing. I was trying to figure out a way that we could possibly, like, bring your bow in. Um, But we kind of ran into some snags, and I wanted to talk to you before, like, we did anything concrete. And she's going to explain to her about, like, shrinking it and viewing it into something else, and then all that might, may or may not destroy it. And she's going to be like, and I wanted to know what you would want me to do. So I don't want to break something that's very important and near and dear to you, but I want you to have something for you. Well, 
what is everyone else getting? What is what is everyone else doing? Well, I got a lot of magic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's just like I got um gloves. And one of them is a glove of holding so I can have that axe without like like lead lined gloves. And then I just did brooches for uh, Chang and Noctis um, to kind of, she's going to be like, <laughs> she's been doing a lot of, you know, things. So she's Hand kind of motions. Out of work. Just like, <laughs> she's like, to kind of, you know, so you can't tell that they have magic. Just like a. <laughs> um, and then I did like a, like a little clutch for Ellie that's like a bag of holding as well. Um, I just, I was trying to find a way that you can, you can have your bow with you. But I don't want to do this magic and then destroy it and then you don't have it at all. Noelle off to the side goes, I'm just concerned at how big the bow is. <laughs> Uh, Kate's gonna, she's gonna kind of nod and she like, kind of like tilts her head a little bit and she's like, so the thing that you gave in Noctis, it cloaks all magical items. As long as they're <laughs> able to hide it on their person without being seen. It's not invisible. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> In my brain, she's, like, off to the far, far side, so she has to shout. <laughs> that. So you're asking if I either give you the bow and risk it getting ruined, or do something else? If they're, yeah, like, if you would want me to do that with the bow and take that chance, or if there's something else maybe that you would want instead. I kind of tailored these things to each person, and I want to make sure you're getting something that is useful to you. Noel kind of walks over a little bit. There's only so much we can do to an already magical item like your bow. So we can't very well manipulate it into another variation of that magical item. We can cloak it or we can shrink it down and do it that way. Or we can just try to make you a new weapon entirely. Or you can take a look in the shop and see if there's something else you'd rather have on hand other than a bow. But I know you are a bow person. How difficult is this magic that you're trying to do? So, what Nyx and I discussed was basically... How do I describe it? Um, we would shrink down your bow to a smaller size and then also enchant an item on your person. I'm not sure what you're wearing, um, but we could enchant something to cloak magical items on you so it would kind of cloak that as well because it would be smaller and when you want to activate it there is something that we can teach you that would activate activate the bow to be the larger size however since we're in such a quick restraint once it's activated it cannot go back to that smaller size again it's a one shot kind of deal the only issue is 
if we aren't careful when we shrink it, it might stay that size. Because we don't have much time to get out all the kinks. Which is why we're asking you. There's risk to it, but it could be very helpful. Because I know that's what you're very good at. Or you could leave it behind and not have it and have a different item that might be able to be more able to be cloaked. But regardless, like what? I think... Well... You, would you want to stay with a bow, or would you want something else, like a sword, or a dagger, or something? I have a couple daggers, but, I mean, I'm best at a bow. Um... You see her kind of like... Start going through the shop a little bit. You see her pulling a few things off the shelves. Um, you see one that looks almost like an inch, like a very fancy, intricate looking box, but it could almost be seen as like a clutch if you hold it correctly. Um, you see her pull off what looks to be a very long looking, like, hilt kind of thing that she puts on. And then you see her grab um, a little baggy type of thing, and then open it, stick her hand in it, and pull out like a smaller crossbow. But it's very, it's very interesting because it's like curved enough that you could probably attach it to your thigh under the dress, but it seems to like flatten out. Um, and you see her kind of like looking around a little bit more. She goes, ah, right, right, right. And she kind of goes towards the back and she comes back with just like, it's like a ball about this big and she puts it on the counter. These are alternatives. If you're interested. It would be a one-time lease. So you couldn't keep it, keep it though. What's the ball? Ah, well, this one is a, of my own design. Um, you see her like take the ball, and she, you see her like smack it on the ground, and it pops back out, and it pff, juts into a very long-looking polearm kind of thing, but it has a very large blade on the side and she kind of grabs it pole arm but it's compact that's the main idea of it and then if you take it and you twist the bottom just twist it and it goes back to the small tiny ball I can fight with pretty much anything. I mean, I'm trained in... Okay. Well, um... What other one would you like to look at? What did you bring? I'm, I, so, I just wanted the crossbow. <laughs> so, she brought, basically, the foldable crossbow, which can, like, conform to your leg and, like, to the side and be, like... It's almost, like, paper thin when it's folded down. It's very strange. Um... She brought what looks to be like a um, a wooden clutch that's like kind of folded and it's very intricately designed and everything. Um, she brought what looks to be a very plain looking hilt. And then the ball is what she brought out as well. So what is, I feel like she would probably ask, like, what each okay. one is. Okay, <laughs> she, she um, <laughs> like So, you saw the crossbow one. She basically, you see her run her hand over it, and it, like, pops into formation. And she kind of adjusts the wire on it, and then you see it act actually activate with, like, <laughs> it's a lightning crossbow. So it basically makes lightning. Um, and then she flips that back down and is able to go back on the leg. Um, 
the wooden clutch. You see her actually unfold it <laughs> slowly, <laughs> like a weird puzzle. And as it clicks in space, it's actually a longbow. But it does take some time to get to that effect. Um, and it actually does a lot more physical damage. It's a little bit more heftier. It's definitely something for long range as well. And then um, you saw the ball, and then you see her grab the hilt. She goes, this one's fun. And she just hands it to you. She picks up, like, a little thing. And she's gonna throw it at you. And she just, swing it like a sword! <laughs> she swings, she throws it at you. And then you're just gonna... Yeah! <laughs> it's a fucking lightsaber. <laughs> yes! I was hoping it was! <laughs> um, it's the light blade. It's the sun blade. So it is a very bright, like, sunlight that emits from it. And it's very hot, for one, but as you put your hand towards it, it actually does not hurt you if you're holding it. So you're able to, like, <laughs> like that with it. Um, but you just slice through that little thing that she threw at you. She goes, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. How, how long is that blade? I'm trying to figure out, like, how, how close she would have to stand if... <laughs> so it is um i would say it's about the same it's about the same as like a standard lightsaber blade is it like what somnia's was yeah the, the moon blade that somnia had okay yes okay however there are stipulations with this is you cannot be attuned to anything of its opposite so if you are attuned to the sun blade you cannot be attuned to anything moon related I don't think her boat uh, takes attunement. No. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let me... So, I, I have it specifically. I don't think it's attuned. I think you cannot have anything of its opposite on your person. Well, I mean, if she's you won't not going to be able to... But, boat, yeah. You won't have it. So yeah. It matter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's anything of its opposite you cannot have on your person. And this has radiant and fire damage. So it's extra damage on top. Because uh, everything else is just like a generic, right? Like just a generic crossbow and just a, like... The crossbow has lightning damage. The, oh, that's right. That's the right. other bow, the very long bow, actually can get through heavier armor. So it gives you a higher, like, hit, basically. It gives you, like, you're able to hit more tougher objects and then the pole arm has more like icy abilities so you can actually freeze a person so each have their own thing but So many choices. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, if she would do that or if she like, just give the fucking bow and, like, let them try. I but... mean, you could roll for it. Yeah. Hang on. I'm, lo I'm, I'm trying to think. Okay, okay. <laughs> um... Is there a way to, like, for her to know, like, which one would be good damage-wise, I guess? Because, like, her bow obviously does a lot of damage, so, like... Mm -hmm. So... 
You won't really know until you hit something. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm gonna have you, you have to go into this blind. I, I legitimately don't know. <laughs> yeah, hey, Sun Bo. It's 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 a tough it's a tough one. I know. Well, cuz so I guess, like, the reason he was asking, like, how difficult the the shrinking of the spell was, like, yeah, Noelle explained that, like, they might not be able to, mm -hmm. like, it might not come back. But she was more so trying to figure out if they could actually, like, how hard it's going to be for them to do it, I guess. Like, how... They're telling you there's a risk. That's all yeah, you know. Yeah. That's all I'm going to give you. There is a risk. If Cassie does not roll correctly, because I have a DC... Or mm -hmm. the bow. If Cassie does not meet that DC, that bow's not coming back. Yeah. So there is there is a risk, but it could be a very good reward too. So it's it's back and forth. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I don't know. I rolled a six, I don't know what that would mean. <laughs> On a D8, but... You rolled a six on a D8? Yeah. Because how many things did you give me? Five, six? I gave you one, two, oh, three, no, four, five. Okay, so I'll do a D6 then, hang on. I also rolled a six. <laughs> What'd you roll? A six. Also oh. a six. Oh. I wasn't thinking we were going to count a six because I only have five, I five items. <laughs> okay, but I'll roll... <laughs> I was expecting you to roll again. A one. Well, you gotta tell me to roll again. You're the DM. <laughs> tell me what you're sure. <laughs> I don't know no, what to okay. tell you. It's a one. <laughs> okay. Um. So that would be the risk then. Okay. So then I guess it's gonna. You're gonna handle. risk it. Okay. I guess. Okay. Alright. 
and you won't know whether or not this works until you are at the gala. So, Cassie, please roll arcane. No Elsie burn. No pressure! Thank you. I'm sweating. <laughs> Throw it back on me! Did you roll another net 20? You fucking did, didn't you? You bitch. <laughs> I changed dice! <laughs> so that would be 31, right? 31. <laughs> well. Trying to give key other cool I weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she just is gonna have that bow for life now. <laughs> I changed the, the DC life. was 27. I'm surprised she didn't go for the lightsaber. Right? I was too. Well, I want the lightsaber, but Key wouldn't do that. She's not. She's ranged. She's not up close. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I have for the night. I have another weapon floating around that Key might be interested in. So we'll see. Well, until she finds that, she's not gonna change. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, Cassie, I don't know what dice gods you pray to, but... <laughs> I just go with my gut feeling. I'm like, this dice looks good. I'm gonna roll this. Okay, well, we know it's gonna work now, so... You got your bow! <laughs> it is a one-time use, so it will be small. How would you like them to put it? Do you want to put it in, like, a hairpin? Do you want it to be oh. small enough that can go on a bracelet? Do you want it to be enough to be attached to, like, a necklace that then can be attached to the other necklace? Or, like, how would you like to <laughs> have that? So, do they, like, are they asking? Because... Oh yeah. They say like she's got to do something like that. Um yeah, cuz you you're trying to conceal it. So, they're mm -hmm, going to take mm -hmm. an item of your choosing, can't be the bow, that they're going right. to use to put the the anti-magic on it, which you will have to do another roll for the anti-magic spell. Is the um but you're going to do it anyway cuz it's a low DC for that spell. <laughs> so, I sorry, I'm trying to like because, so my plan, I'll let you know what the plan is, and then you can tell me if, like, thinking about this correctly or not. Because the saying that she was going to have, um, she was going to ask Phoenix to pierce her ears, basically, so she could have earrings. She so could have for one. the cloaking thing, or to have the bow on the earring? Like, could, could she use the earrings as the cloaking device? Yeah, she could make it so, like, one is, like, the one long earring that's supposed to mimic the actual bow is the cloak. And then the other one that looks like the, which is the actual bow, is the actual bow. Like, to, like, to, I don't know if she would do, like, long earrings, but just, like, this, like, short. Oh, little like, studs? Yeah, you could do studs. Like studs, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that. Like, she mm -hmm. wouldn't do dangly earrings, probably. Okay. Just okay. short. Because <laughs> she's, she's not... She's, well, she's, then, she's where, the where is the... Where are you putting the bow? That's what I'm trying to... That's what I was at, gonna ask. Because, yeah. like, that's what I was trying to figure out, was if the bow had to go, like, where Put the cloaking thing... Put it in the pocket? The like, where... <laughs> no, no. What she probably would do is, um, if she can, then she'll probably do the earrings as, like, the cloaking... Like, one mm -hmm. of them is, like, the cloaking or whatever. Um, and then... I guess maybe on as a bracelet piece, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as like so, a jewelry, because 
that's what they would they would wear jewelry to the yeah. gala, right? That's yeah, yeah, normal. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. So she would probably ask if it can be put on a bracelet or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, they would probably put it so that way it's not going to lose like its curve because the string is still attached to it. So probably right. going to have it so it goes up and down. So it's probably going to be like a cuff. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Um. I know. I, I <laughs> me too, guessing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, that's what she would do. But then she's she would actually uh, look at Phoenix because she knows Phoenix does like jewelry stuff mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. Like at this point, okay. Yeah. So he's gonna. Um, she's gonna. Ash, remember what I said? I had a way. Uh, she's gonna take out that pouch with the. Three rubies and the two emeralds, and she's gonna put them in her hand and be like, "I have these. Uh, is there a way that we can take these two emeralds and, I mean, make them into earrings to maybe match this <laughs> necklace with the ring on it, with the pearls and the your your ring?" Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She's gonna be like, yeah, I could do that. Okay. Um, please roll um, for the anti-magic spell for me, and then you're also gonna do a sleight of hand to make those earrings. Was the anti-magic spell arcana as well? Because I already yes. rolled. Yes. That one. Yes. 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 Uh, so it's a twenty-six. Yep. You're good. <laughs> yep. I rolled a fifteen. I have plus one. <laughs> See this this um, um hammer <laughs> That's why you have me do the magic stuff. Yep. And yep. What, what else yep. am I rolling? Um you can do sleight of hand as you are crafting with advantage because you are crafting jewelry. Nope. <laughs> Not that one. Oh shit. No, oh, it it fell. I'm sorry, I gotta, gotta do that one. Um 23. Easy enough. You you struggle at first because, like, <laughs> it's been a while since you've made, like, earrings. So, like, getting that stud sometimes, you have to get it sharp enough. And, like, you're sitting there, like, shaving that tent, that down. And then you have to make, like, the little thing that goes over it. And you start making, like, the flower aspect around the emerald to kind of match the ring a little bit and you're like you add like little tiny tiny pearls that you have lying around just to add that little extra like oomph to match it you know as best as possible and like finally you're able to like step back and you're like okay you can breathe and then you go back in and you have to do the very 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 fine arcane etching of the spell in the very back of the petals that you had made out of that metal so that you actually have something to get the arcane spell in there but you are eventually able to get them down and you were able to present them to key key your ears are not pierced no they're not <laughs> she's gonna look down at the earrings and be like Great, thanks. Uh, can you also, uh, my ears aren't pierced. She's gonna be like, does she know how to pierce ears? She's a jeweler. She You're a jeweler. jeweler. I'm assuming you would know. Roll intelligence for me. Huh. <laughs> You're a jeweler. You're not a piercer. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, let's be real, though. She would do it herself if she's like, <laughs> he'll be like, okay, that's fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> that's an 11. Yeah, you're like, um, I don't know the process. I make the jewelry, I don't, in, like. Key, are you going to do it yourself? <laughs> He's gonna look at, is Noelle, like, still right there by them? Noelle is kind of working on stuff, and she's working away. She's gonna look at Noelle and be like, 
Do you know how to pierce the nose? I'm sure she does, but I'm gonna roll for shits and giggles. <laughs> 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 Noelle, where is your sheet? There it is. Oh, yeah. I don't know that. That was 19, and I don't need to even add her intelligence score to that. <laughs> she just kind of goes, What? Yes. Why? <laughs> She's Case like, working way. She goes, Oh. Rosalind! <laughs> like, Rosalind, like, bursts through the door. Yes! <laughs> I need ice, I need a little bit of a flame, and I need a needle, please. Flame? Yes, you have to heat up the needle. Oh. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> You're piercing the skin with the, the needle. I it's fine! I've had worse. It's fine. I'll okay. be fine. I mean... Okay. <laughs> um, so now I gotta do sleight of hand with Noelle. Um, Phoenix can learn from Noelle as she's doing this, <laughs> if she would like. Just roll intelligence <laughs> to see if you're able to keep up. Oh, and alcohol. I need a little bit of alcohol. I need to sterilize it. 18. Okay. So, she's going to sterilize the needle first with the alcohol, with a little cotton swab. And then she asks you to hold the ice cubes up to your earlobes, and you do that to get them all nice and numb. Um, and then you see her start lighting the flame before she's gonna go in and do your left ear. Okay, not bad, not bad. Perfect, okay, so the first one you see, she, like, she's a little hesitant because she doesn't want to hurt you and it, it, it does hurt. You're piercing fucking skin with a needle. So she's, she's hesitant at first before she sticks it in. Um, please roll a wisdom save. Oh no! <laughs> A wisdom save? A wisdom save. Or is it constitution? Sam, do you remember what they did for the tattoos? I do not. I think it was a wisdom save, wasn't it? Let me... Oh. Mm. I know it was con. I think it's constitution. It's constitution. Wow, yeah. that's worse. Yeah, roll constitution <laughs> for me. Shit. Okay. If she fucking, if I, oh my god. Because it's okay. physical pain. 18. Okay, you're able to stick it out. Not a problem. Gonna have you roll one more time. Oh, okay. As she does the other ear. This one, she seems a little bit more confident. She's like lining it up with the same one so that way it's not gonna be wonky. She lines Four. it up. She's like, okay, ready? What'd you roll? <laughs> Four. <laughs> oh, yeah. She goes, okay, you good? All right, ready? One, two. She pierces it through, and this time, for some reason, it hurts to the point that you feel a little lightheaded. <laughs> and she pulls it out, puts the earring in real quick, last bit, and you just kind of like... feel a little lightheaded. Kind of like there's a little bit of blood that you're able to, and you like look at it and you're like, oh, it's blood. <laughs> <laughs> Second round got you. Because that, that was just a little bit too much for you. Plus, you've had a rough day. <laughs> so, um, you pass out from the second piercing after the first piercing <laughs> because he rolled a four um and so both of them are like oh god <laughs> they get you upright um chang and noctis where did you guys go after you guys entered i don't know <laughs> to your rooms 
to the I meeting room, to the library. I make my, I make my things Nox yet. Was ready to tell the entire group something and then dispersed. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, and yeah. Nox is just like, I guess not because right. the Chang are just chilling there, like, hey, in with the Asa. living room. Okay. And with Asa, yeah. With Asa. Oh, yeah, Ellen Wee is in there, too. She's just, like, chilling. <laughs> just, um, just yeah, you know, like, hey, what's up? What's yeah, good? they're like, it's all good. It's all good. Um, after a while, you guys would hear um, the door open and close. How long does invisibility last? Uh, an hour. Okay, cool. So I would probably say by now he's. He's there. So he opens it and closes it and goes, What are we all doing? I hope this isn't some s sort of intervention or something. Um, Venry, we we need to have a talk. I'm sorry. This intervention. <laughs> I knew this was going to come. <laughs> Jane just looks at Nox and is like, What are you talking about? <laughs> I had a feeling this was going to happen at some point. I just didn't expect it to not have key here, but if what it must, happening? it must. He sits on is, is he what? sits on a sofa, kind of dramatically. He knows you're <laughs> fucking with him. Yeah, Chang's like, what's going on? Yeah, Chang's like, what's happening? Chang, I have a problem. You have many problems. <laughs> <laughs> He just goes, uh, 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 I'm actually very proud of you for saying that. Really? No, I, just, okay, so I almost just accidentally coughed up all my food um, because I just took, of course, a giant mouthful of macaroni. Um, so, as a reflection of that, Noctis is also just going to like choke. Like, at, he's going to like fucking choke a laugh out. Mm -hmm. And like the <laughs> like the race cops. Oh yeah. Also and just goes. Like, oh. <laughs> Jake's like, oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> no, just like I was just fucking with him. And oh, I, and I was playing along because I thought it was Oops. funny. Jake's <laughs> <laughs> like, ha ha ha. <laughs> Very fun. You cut me deep, Chang. You cut me deep. <laughs> Chase right here. Like <laughs> Chase is like ah. I knew that our friendship was a farce. What? All this time. <laughs> Chase is just like ah. In reality, you absolutely despise me, don't you? It's because I'm so tall, isn't it? It's not because you're tall. <laughs> Evelyn Lee is legitimately just sitting there like uh, idiots. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> James, like, what were you doing anyway? Where did you come? Oh from? right, I was making this, <laughs> and he kind of pulls it out, and it's a very detailed, like, outer drawing, and like, there's some numbers here and there, kind of like indicating how, f like, how many feet away each door is from each other and like all the windows uh -huh. that he's able to basically figure out while being out there for an hour sketching. What are you, an architect? Damn, dude. <laughs> That's good. I can get things done when I pay attention and when I'm by myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jake, so he's just <laughs> looking over it like... <laughs> Jake's just looking at it like, wow, that's good. That's really good. Thanks. Sort of. I appreciate that. Yeah. I normally, I don't feel like I'm really good with, um, actually buildings and sorts. I normally stay with, uh, wildlife and um, people. I mean, that, that looks, I mean, that looks really, really good. Yeah, no, <laughs> this is great. Perfect, perfect. I, I'm, I'm hoping help. it's going to help. At least a little bit. Uh, yeah, well, I, I would hope so. Um, right, I was able to get um, one of my contacts, I was able to get some information about who might have a red invitation. Um, I, was uh, able, yeah, yeah. I was able to get two names, um, at least. Yeah. Um, Renee Millwright, and then um, <clears throat> Zhang Dayu. Um, I think she's known as the uh, Black Jade. What?! 
interesting. <laughs> literally, that's literally like burst out. Of, what? Do you know these people? Well, I mean, hold on. Let me double check. I I, I need to double check because I'm the like black I'm jade. Crazy. She's in charge. I know the black jade. Of, yeah. Yeah, both of these people are in charge of their respected areas. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Where's Renee again? Like, Renee Millwright. That sounds so. I know I read that name. I'm not insane. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You are correct. Where, where, um, why? You what, would know that, that they are in. They are of Latillier, so basically Canada. <laughs> <laughs> The human. human! The human, yes. yep, the human. The human. The human in power. Um... Jake's just like... Y the, the red? The, we got the red? Okay. Um, yeah, both of them were sent red invitations. <sighs> mm. Um... You know, I don't even know why I'm bothered being surprised anymore. <laughs> Do you know this person, like, personally, or is it just like a, I know them because I know the name kind of thing? You do just because he know knows of person. them, right? Yeah, you just know of uh -huh. them because they are yeah. really up there. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The only person you know, personally, that would be close to them would actually be Yaya's family because Yaya's family is well off. Really? Yes. Should have known she was a rich bitch. <laughs> How do you think she is able to I afford know. so many good yeah, no, clothes I'm, and everything? I know, that's, that's why I, I should have known. <laughs> but they're hard workers, too. That's the thing. Really? They actually earn their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it they're wasn't not... for Siwoo, I would have thought I was the poorest bitch here. No, Siwoo is. Siwoo, <laughs> poor Siwoo. I love him, though. Siwoo is very, very low class. Your family is, like, low to middle. Bim Bam's middle, <laughs> and then Yaya's upper class. What the fuck, guys? So we really are the disaster squad. The poor boys, and then Yaya. <laughs> and then Yaya. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he's like, no, I wouldn't, but I know someone who would. One second. Oh, sorry, Luna. I'm sorry, they, they, I didn't mean to. Oh? Canada. Sorry, I had to undo one of my um, candles. It started getting to the very end and started <laughs> burning the uh, thing that it was in. Oh, oh no. And it's metal, yeah. so I don't want that to explode. <laughs> no. So, Chang knows that Yaya would know of... You would know that Yaya's family, in general, has been invited to that to their location before which one again is it the renee millwright no it would be or, the no, Jean the Dayu. okay yeah 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 Definitely. yeah plus plus bim made stuff for mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the black jade yeah yeah because it like, would make sense considering Why where yaya lives if you look at your map you know i i didn't think about that <laughs> I didn't, you know, she lives on here. the good side of town yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I'm poor, bitch. <laughs> I'm the raggedy ass here. Um, yeah, that's um, why, you know, Chang, Venery, and Noxious just vibe. And awesome. Yeah, you know <laughs> what? Uh, exactly. Yeah, so Chang's just, but and, like, Chang's just like, of course, of course. Wait, did you say Venry? Oh, wait, no, yeah, Venry's family's rich. What are you talking about? Oh, shit, yeah, you yeah. know, that's right. Venry's family's fucking was... rich as hell. I, I think but I meant, I think fair. I meant Asa. Yeah, just Asa. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just Asa. Just like... <laughs> Venry does know because he's had to fend for himself for a lot, but, like, he also does not know because he he has money. Yeah, no, he, he yeah, no, he lives in a <laughs> fucking a... estate. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I was like, he... <laughs> He's I, the red-haired stepchild. Like, like I was, I he was still has of, it good. I was thinking wow. of Asa. Yeah, no, um, just you and Asa, man, right there. Yeah. <laughs> but 
But it also yeah, coincides with how big your family is too, Chang. Yeah. You have such a huge family and that takes a yeah. lot to fund that kind of family. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But it's okay, at least we're all resourceful and we mm -hmm. work and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, he's just, I guess he's just more surprised and not surprised that of course the leaders are red invitations. Mm -hmm. How nice. Mm -hmm. And it's just those two that Venry was able to get, so. He wouldn't be surprised if there were more. <laughs> Very Such well wonderful pieces, people sure. in the world of glory grows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Um, Such pristine. Yeah. People. You would know, <laughs> Chang, that like Zheng Dayu, she is a bomb ass bitch too. Like, of course. Red lipstick, geisha, like full out attire. Like, she wears like the Empress fucking like headdresses and shit. Like,. She's not messing around. <laughs> she oh is. She is. <laughs> she's very rich. Oh shit! I thought I was muted. Look. What? The <laughs> I hate that. Oh. Ah, hey, look! It's Valor. Um. <laughs> Chang hates him. But 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 anyways. But anyways. Uh, but yes. Chang yes. just tell. Update Venry and be like, uh, by the way, five o'clock, I have to meet my cousin, and he's gonna give us some deets. Oh, all right, uh, perfect. Um, apparently, she's been inside the gala many times. Somehow, I forgot that. Well, she's didn't she say she works? Terry, yeah. Okay, okay, don't rub it in. <laughs> Get things gone. No, she's she's <laughs> she's a little bit short like you, a little bit yeah. more curvaceous, yeah. long hair, braid, glasses. Yeah, yeah, yes. How do you know that? After you left, she booked it out of there. What? What do you mean she booked it out? She booked it. She, I don't know. You, you all left. I was sketching. I saw her come out. She seemed a little frazzled. And then Are you she. Serious? We need to. Go. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean, Frazzle? I don't know. She looked like she she had a whole bunch of papers in her hand, so I'm assuming she was probably delivering something. Oh. <laughs> or was she stealing them? I don't know. She was like panicking, panicking. My panic meter <laughs> increasing. <laughs> That's just Maybe what, you should... that's just what I saw, so I don't know, she's she went into a different building and then I lost track of her after that. Cause I was <gasps> sketching. <laughs> Shanks like, okay. <laughs> Alright. I better see her at five. <laughs> Alright. I better I better see her. We're gonna have a problem. Five o'clock, right? Yeah. Where's Key? At this point, you guys hear uh, a. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> try to help her up. Try to. Nyx, try and help her up, please. I, I, I don't think. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Push! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what everybody's hearing? You guys can hear it in the next room over. <laughs> Chang's like, uh oh. Chang's like, but casually lean. I need someone and... strong in here, Ellen. We. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> Venry. Damn. She doesn't know Venry's here. Mm. No, if Venry stood up, Noctis would have just laughed at him. <laughs> Venry is just gonna go to the door and open it up and just kind of walk over. Ellen Wee is also trailing behind. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? We are piercing her ears. And she... And she pops out because you pierced her ears. <laughs> <laughs> She's no, been stabbed this. before and she... She fainted because she peed. Oh, Chang wants to get a look at this. He's not just <laughs> laughing a little bit. Like, he's trying to hold it back. Like, he's trying to hide it. He is snickering a little bit. 
Yeah. Sorry. Also, just kind of nudges uh, you. Like, Stop it. Yeah, she's she's passed out. She's not gonna know. <laughs> Tink just keeps Look, he's trying to get as much amusement as he can. Like, yeah, yeah. This dude yeah. is not okay. I know, I know. He's he's going through it. So is Asa. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Venry's gonna go over and scoop her up, bridal style, kind of jimmy her out and take her to her room. Okay. Oh, all right. Well. We'll be back when she just... wakes up. <laughs> okay. Are you loud in there? Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> you guys hear <laughs> you guys can hear from Noelle's room. No, he is not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking her to her room and then you're leaving afterwards. <laughs> no, I'm not. I wanna make sure she's okay. Fine, <laughs> but I'll be in there in like ten minutes. <laughs> She's just like, oh, he's just gonna go Goes. sit down. That's Goes. none of his business. He's not taking her to a room. He's taking her to his room. <laughs> of course, oh, it's oh, closer. You know, he's pushing the envelope. I all right. Goes in, puts her down, gets her situated, all nice and cozy. Um, he's gonna get some like rubbing alcohol and some cotton swab so that way you can clean your ears. <laughs> what a dark, yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice. And he's just gonna sit on the bed and just wait for her to wake up. Um, Ellen, we kind of just kind of looks in. I can't stop looking away from it. <laughs> It's mesmerizing. <laughs> what is it? Tasha, what? What? Why? The eagle. <laughs> oh, uh, like what's happening? So after, God. I'd say about like 10, 15 minutes, he comes to, <laughs> wakes up, Venry's just sitting there like, you fainted because you pierced your ears. <laughs> I would say that's one point for me, but it's really it's not a competition, but I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> Have you ever pierced your ears before? Oh uh, no, but I don't think it would be that hard. <laughs> Why do you want to pierce one of my ears? Do maybe, it. maybe get myself a little... Something there. Do it without the ice. Sam. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> uh, she's gonna. Is she like she's sitting up now? I'm assuming. Oh yeah, she's she probably like, sitting up, like you little fucker, <laughs> like kind of that look yeah. in her face. And he's sitting on the edge of the bed. Yeah, he's kind of just sitting on the edge of the bed. Like he's he's basically waited until she woke up. Is basically what he did. Okay, she's gonna like look around and be like, uh, like she's she's in his room. Just look around and she's like, how long was I? Ten, fifteen minutes at most. Great. Did I miss anything? Mm, I don't know. We were just talking. I did finish that sketch, though. Um, also found out two names that have the red envelope. Um, Zhang Dayu and Renee Milwright. Um, Chang seemed to know, well, know of, Zhang Dayu. They're kind of like, I guess, a leader in Yanhua. Chang seems to know a lot of people. Well, it is Glory Grove. Think of it as like multiple small towns next to each other. They all kind of know their own people, but then they also know like whispers of other towns nearby.
kind of like reaches over and like kind of like tilts your head so he can look at it and goes, I do like the design though. Yeah, well, you can thank Phoenix, actually. She's the one that did the handiwork. I will. They look gorgeous. Even if your ears are a little red right now. She's gonna away. She's like, bitch! Yep. Oh yeah, Kath definitely did. It goes, alright. Um, I think they all want to kind of go over some of the information that they got, but shall we go? Yeah. Right. Yes, that's what today's for, right? To do the planning thing. Recon, what we're planning, doing. all that good stuff, yes. Kind of nods and like motions you to like get up and kind of pauses like are you alright with standing or are you gonna get dizzy i am fine i'm fine he kind of like takes your hand he goes just in case leads you out she's gonna at, like as they're walking she's just gonna look up at him and be like you are completely ridiculous just kind of looks specky. That's what you love about me, don't you? Hmm. Let's continue on. Um, during that 10-15 minute break that Key was out, is there anything that you guys want to do before Key comes back? Um, was Noctis gonna share with the class? I think Noctis is gonna wait until everyone's together, yeah? Yeah, I literally have no idea what I learned, so like, I literally do not remember. Oh, you're fine. You, but you guys basically, when it comes to like what it looks like on the outside, you guys basically figured out that it's like three levels high. There's definitely like a basement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. ground level, yeah, and yeah. then there's two other. Um, you guys. No, but he 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 shared that already, didn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I meant the scrying. Was he going to show yeah, that? Yeah, oh. that I do not remember. Um, oh, no. <laughs> nope, he's not going to share that. Yeah, no. Uh, That's private. Oh. That's private. <laughs> it's private information. Uh, he's also... He also just feels like... Really ashamed and guilty. And he doesn't want to bring it back up. He doesn't want to think about it right now. Yeah. He's trying very hard not to. Yeah. Oh. Um. Um. Is there anything Mari else? actually is going to come out and talk to you guys. Oh. So she kind of peeks out and is like, um, hi, how's it going, everyone? Oh. Hey, Mari. Hello. Sorry I haven't been around a lot, but um, I've been doing some studying. I've been learning from Noel and Yuki as much as he'll actually allow me to learn from him. Um, but I just wanted to check in and see how everyone is. Hey. Oof, the silence is deafening. Noctis is just like, hello? <laughs> I, I think Noctis eventually just gonna be like, how are you doing, Mari? Like, you know, with all that shit that happened recently and... <clears throat> um, being kidnapped and then <laughs> rescued and... Learning more about my blood. Um, uh -huh. That's what yeah, I've been kind yeah. of working on. Um, <laughs> um, so with the help of Yuki, I was able to kind of make some enhanced potions. I know it sounds really weird and kind of gross, but like... Oh, hell no. I'm a vampire. Uh, Ari. Uh, 
I, I know, I'm just saying in general for, like, me and maybe oh. other people, no else. The rest of us. <laughs> yeah, you guys are just... I mean, it's it's separated. We we figured out how to create Azoth from the blood and how to separate it out. So it's not necessarily blood, it's... It's the essence of the blood. It's like coagulated gold blood. You're making it sound uh, worse, I think. Marty. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely am. <laughs> um, but I wanted to give you guys um some of the the, the potions that we have made. Um, cause what? I I know oh. that you're going to be going someplace dangerous, and this is. The only thing I could think of to help you all with. Because I know that I can't really help you out there right now. I'm sorry you had to do that. Sounds uncomfortable. Um, I'm just uncomfortable in general. Um, <laughs> about this whole golden child thing. I really wish yeah. I wasn't one. <sighs> Um, yeah. it complicates a lot more than I would like it to. And people I care yeah. about. I'm sure. Um, but here, um, you see her put out, um, she kind of reaches into her bag and she pulls out what looks to be the size of, like, a quick shot. But you guys can see that it's a mix of that, like, classic red like health potion but you guys can see like the glimmer of gold in like it's almost like gold glitter kind of like all throughout it um if you guys ingest this it will give you a supreme healing potion oh shit and there's one for each of you So you guys can put down Supreme Healing Potion. And just make a note that it's with Mari's blood. So when you do ingest this, not only are you going to have the Supreme Healing Potion, but you guys will also have the effect of her blood. Which is... Intelligence mm -hmm. and medicine. Mm -hmm. And you get a boost to your healing, I think. Mm hmm so any I healing... recently looked this one up because Noctis was actually gonna kind of like awkwardly ask if she'd be willing to give him a vial of her blood. Yeah. So basically, it's <laughs> increased on intelligence, medicine, and any sort of healing. So, and this is it's yeah. the plus five or the plus ten. This is a plus ten because okay. she refined it to the Azoth. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Nyx is paying enough attention to what's being said to realize that there's one for her yet. Mm-hmm. So unless the one's like, hey. Yeah, and it's it's kind of cute because she's like attached a little like ribbon to it with your guys' little name attached to it. So it's like you can tell oh. whose is whose. Like she you can tell she actually put care into this. Like she's she's she knows she feels like she's not able to do anything she feels useless so this is the only way that she can find you guys some sort of help knock this so um, she is trying desperately oh my god appreciates I, this a lot yeah knock this is gonna be like this is really nice thanks and he's gonna piss up and if he sees, like, people aren't grabbing theirs, he's probably going to scooch theirs. Because I don't mm -hmm. think he sat down. He's probably just standing there. Yeah, yeah. So the ones that she has made, because she doesn't really know. She knows Venry, but, like, doesn't know Venry. Mm -hmm. There is not one for Venry. There is one for Ellen Wee, because they were able to chat a little bit. <laughs> There's one for Key. There's one, basically everyone else except for Venry, because... <laughs> Because reasons. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's and he's fine. not even gonna blink an eye about it. He's not even offended. Yeah, so name. when uh, people when can't Noctis ask kind of kind of pushes because he uh, you said Noctis was gonna like push it towards push it, yeah, yeah. you guys. So 
Nyx would be like, oh, I didn't I didn't realize that you made one for me. I I that awkward like oh. Yeah, um I tried to make one for people I thought it could benefit the best. She's gonna feel a little bit guilty and she's gonna be like, oh um thank you. Mm-hmm. She's gonna kind of <laughs> 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 I mean, since I can't help you guys out there, might as well help you as much as I can here, you know? I mean, you're better you've off in here anyway. <laughs> yeah, you've done plenty, Mari. You need to stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. She kind of, like, nods a little bit, and she's gonna yeah. kind of... He's, he's gonna, like, as she, like, starts to walk away, he's gonna... I know it... I know it sucks, but after what happened last time, I I know. It's just I, yeah. And she just kind of immediately leaves. Um, she's gonna be passing he and Venry as they're walking, and she's gonna pause and she goes, "Um, I have something for you on the table, Key." Um. Benry goes, Mari? Not for you. You know why. He goes, <laughs> I don't know why. You did good though, kid. She goes, Thank you. <laughs> she, Key's, gonna, Key's gonna look at Benry and be like, What was that about? Golden child things. It's dangerous for some of us to ingest each other's Azoth and blood. If she said not for me, then I'm assuming she did something that pertains to that. Get it. So. Don't feel bad, love. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could, but it might have after effects that could be quite damaging. I never said I felt bad. What? Oh. Fine, I see how it is. My girlfriend hates me. No? <laughs> yeah, can everyone, okay, is, can everyone hear this? No. No. We're in the hallway. I don't in the hallway. In yet. Not yet. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, he's, he's just so dramatic he's, today. He's being a dramatic bitch today. He's he's gonna like roll her eyes and then she'll be like, you know, actually I was thinking that you would have made a comment about how you know you don't need it, but I do, and I'm me to support, but you'll be fine. Missed opportunity, huh? Hmm. You know me so well. He's just gonna take your hand, he kisses the top of it, and pulls you through. <laughs> you can see that he's kind of like, he's thinking about it, he's like, yeah, fuck, that was a missed opportunity. <laughs> she knows me too well, fuck. Um, but both of them are gonna walk in. Noelle comes out and goes, 15 minutes. Fifteen- it took you fifteen minutes. <laughs> She's gonna go, Venry, you go, Noelle. <laughs> he's gonna- he's gonna give Noelle a look, and then she's gonna be like, what, you think he would actually do something? I was fucking passed out, Noelle! I didn't- mm. Sweetheart. <laughs> Sometimes, you can wake up earlier than that, and it does not take that long for men to, uh, go through it sometimes. <laughs> Just <laughs> really fucking mad. His face is like bright red at that point, and like, she's disgusting. Chang's holy ears are not present for this conversation. <laughs> Key's key is yeah. bright red, and she's gonna look away from Benry. <laughs> I'm not done. Benry goes, Noelle, it'd be much longer than that. <laughs> Venry, we don't want to know that. No. Why? <laughs> He's like, no, Why? I think you want it. Wow. He's just gonna kind of put his hand on top of her head. <laughs> <Just kind> of... 
just tied it or they not destroyed because she's already ashamed enough that she got struck and passed out from getting her ears pierced and now they're talking about this and she's like oh. <laughs> he, he's wow. just laughing. <laughs> she's gonna elbow him. <laughs> Get him to stop laughing. <laughs> he's just like, oh fuck. <laughs> Nocta just goes, kids. <laughs> also, just goes, I'm gonna murder him. <laughs> anyway, everyone sit down, please. We are going to discuss what we learned, what's going on, not about each other's sex life. She was the one that brought it up. I don't care. Noel. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Not to just lean over us. He goes, I think, I think we may be the only ones here with a sex life, so it, it's fine. He's gonna, he's gonna look at that this and be like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> you hear in the depths of the shop. Oh my god! I'm offended by that! <laughs> Wait, who was that? That no. is Noel. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Not just yells. I wasn't talking about you! She's gonna- okay, and then she's gonna be like, Hang on, wait, you two- never, I don't need to know, but if- never mind. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Asa's just oh like, goodness. are we really gonna have this conversation right now? <laughs> no! no, no and meanwhile, Nox is just, just thinking, you think I'm a virgin? <laughs> no one thinks you're a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Ellen Wee's just like... <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, we are here to talk about what we're doing. Correct? Yeah. Yeah! yeah. Right. Gathering information. And before stuff. we go into this conversation, we're gonna have our 15 minute break.
Eating is important. It is. So, with that, we are back! Hello. So you guys have all come together. You have sat down. What just happened? This is weird. It's not showing Sam and it's not showing Tasha. Oh. What happened? Oh, there's Sam. Hello? There's Tasha. Oh. It took a while <laughs> for your oh. little like things to come up saying that you're actually there. That was oh, weird. Interesting. Hmm. Close this because people are calling at seven o'clock at night. Um so you guys are in the living room. If you want to go into the meeting room where the head still is. It's just going to be a permanent, like, It's in crystalline now, so it's fine. It's in crystalline. The head's I'm sorry, still Noelle, there. that's your new meeting room decoration. Oh, she's not happy with that. <laughs> she's like... Mm. She's the one that brought it in here. I know. She thought you guys were going to interrogate it. I thought we were too. And get it Actually, out no, I, I legitimately forgot about it, so. So, it's there. I think you guys have, like, one or two days left. Yeah, we should probably... You guys will need Mari to do out. it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A surprise. So, are you guys going into the meeting room or staying in the living room? To have your conversation. Um... Noctis is probably not gonna. I mean, he... Noctis doesn't really. <laughs> Noctis is what? Sorry. Yep, Sorry. I know. Hold it together. Um, say, um, no, I think because I don't. Like, I think Noctis is just gonna relay what they found out to Nyx, because she was the only one that wasn't there when mm -hmm. they talked about it. Okay. Um, and then, plus, you have the drawing that Venry did, so you have kind of, like, a better idea of what they're talking about, too. Yeah, so, so I feel like that's pretty much all we really need to share, and it's only with Nyx, because everyone else has seen all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yep, so you guys are basically getting Nyx up to par. Is there anything you guys want to discuss as a group before you guys are going to go and see Chang's grandpa and then his cousin? Um, I don't know if anyone else has anything to discuss. I don't. Oh, I Not didn't this know everybody like... else was going to come to the grandpa's place. That was just going to be a... Yeah, like, I was gonna, uh, like, if, if, <laughs> no, if no one has anything to share, Noctis is eventually, like, Noctis is going to suggest that, like, we have, like, what, like, would you say, like, four or five hours? Maybe, yeah. like, four hours now? You guys probably have um, about four hours before um, Cousin gets out. Noctis is gonna suggest um, we take those four hours and do what we need to do, mm -hmm. um, get what we need to do done, um, just kind of split up, okay. go on our own just to do these things. Okay. And then we can just meet back up for the cousin thing. Okay. Um, Ellen Way is going to suggest that everyone figure out what kind of outfit you guys are going to be wearing <clears throat> and have it set aside. You guys can either go into town to purchase or you guys can see what Noelle has in your guys' closets. Me. Yeah, Noctis will probably just check the closet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, depending on what you're looking for, um, it might be in the closet. Um, if you just tell Noelle, like, we need fancy dresses, she'll go, all right, one second. Um, we did that last time, and she said she would work something out for oh, us. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah right, we did. Right, right. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, so, that yeah. means if that's already happened, she did that. So... Probably when you guys come back from the cousins, she'll have that ready for you guys. And basically, she's gonna have an array for you guys to choose. It's gonna be like a whole bunch of stuff for you guys to choose from. Or if you want to give her a specific vision you have, she can get that prepared. 
Okay. So you guys can like kind of like peek your head and be like, Noel, I'm looking for this kind of outfit, and she'll be like, All right. <laughs> Roger that. I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> um, and then um, I feel in my heart of hearts for Nyx, your outfit actually would be created by Silo for you. Aww. Considering the theme that you chose for the outfit, I feel like that would just coincide with it so much more. So I feel like she's going to do a bibbidi bobbidi boo kind of moment with her. Um, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's gonna be, a, a, you know, a little, a little magic moment, you know, the with the like, flowers and everything. <laughs> um, that kind of moment. Um, I feel specifically for key the dress that you have for key would be one that is almost like a hand-me-down from noel that's been altered to your specific wants so it's like the mom giving the daughter a dress kind of moment so it's going to be, I know you like green. This is something that I wore when I was your age. But I made it green, which is your favorite color. Kind of thing. Um, and then if I recall, your bodice, it's kind of, is it see-through-ish a little bit? Okay. That overlay. I can post the picture. Please, I said, please, uh, let me see if please, I can find please it. Please do, Hang because on. I want to take a, a look at that. Think, yeah, I <laughs> just sent it I not too long ago, but I know it's hard mm -hmm. to. Yeah, it's, I think it's on the art channel. Well, this there's, the car, there's a couple, because there's the art okay. one. Okay. I forgot. That's so the actual, but yeah, there's, there's a bunch of those things that we did before. Yeah. Yeah, but then I can, hang on, I can send the other one, like, the good one that I got commissioned. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I know what I'm going to do for Key, because Noelle's going to be very thoughtful about this. Hang on. Because she's going to... My, my computer froze. Gonna I'm sorry, something. hang on. You're good. I can tell you're saying something, but I can't tell what you're saying. Okay, okay it's back. Okay, okay, what did you say? I'm sorry, what I did you said... say? I <laughs> said... I'm going to be very thoughtful with this, with how she's going to word things. Okay. And based on the design, I'm going to have her do something else. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I haven't, I have, I have what I have in my brain. Okay. So we got our Cinderella moment. We got... Mama pass down dress moment. We got, we're gonna have a moment with uh, Chang and his mama. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be cute. And then we're gonna have a moment with Noctis and Asa. Basically getting each other kind of settled. Um, Asa will have you pick for him cause he doesn't know what he's gonna wear. <laughs> um, because you're more glamorous than Asa is. Asa doesn't understand the gala. He understands, like, kind of what to do, but also doesn't understand, like, what to do. Um, that's why he dressed up as a newsie. Because that's more fitting into his realm of comfortable clothing. I mean, um, Noctis did not do... Like, I feel like at least Asa did better than Noctis did in that moment. <laughs> like, at least he's wearing a vest and a hat. Yeah, he's best. Well, he has to because, you know, his skin tone, he can't change it. He's a blue yeah, boy. <laughs> he's a he's a blue just, man. And you're in Not just just out here the grove. looking like a chimney cleaner. You know. Carrying a broom. It's all good. Broom. Woo. <gasps> Some servants over here. <laughs> all right. So, as you guys all kind of separate and kind of do what you want to do, 
Um, Chang, you are gonna head and go check on your grandpa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's uh, <laughs> he's hoping Yaya's also there. <laughs> Maybe that she's present and around. It's so pretty. <laughs> so as you make your way back, I'm assuming you're using the blimp or are you walking and using the connection points? Oh wait, you guys are yeah. in the wells. You're not in the you're literally Yeah, in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you exit and you're already in the market area. So you're very, very close to where the basically the apothecary is. Yeah. You go up. Go up the steps. Knock a little bit. You hear, um, Yaya's mom. Man! Gonna peek his head in very mm -hmm. nervously, but he's still Yaya's not totally ready. not here, but you do see Yaya's mom. Um, she is like... She's very much a southern belle. She's got that big southern hair, you know, more secrets for Jesus. Um, <laughs> so the big, huge ringlets. Um, wow. And she's just like, oh, Chang, sweetheart, you, you came to see your grandfather? He's a little bit more yeah. coherent, so he is able to speak a little bit more, but it is still a little bit rough. Um... I believe your grandma was just here a little bit ago, so um, come on in if you like. Uh, where's Yaya? Oh, uh, Yaya, I think we had her run out to do an errand. She had to go deliver something. Okay. Well, she yes, should be I'll back here around. probably in about, I want to say, 20 minutes or so. It's one of our uh. more higher clientele over at the Golden Estates. Is that so? Oh, yeah, okay. no, we get a whole bunch of people from over there. You know how many old fucks are over there? Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> a lot of them need their medication. <laughs> okay, thank you. Of course, sweetheart. You just holler if you need anything. Yes, ma'am. So you were able to go in, and you can see your grandpa is, like, he's kind of dozing a little bit, kind of like in and out, like he's fighting against sleep. Um, but you do see oh, no. he has a little like bell next to him, which you know like Yaya's mom probably put so if he needed anything he can ring it and she'll come up. But he gonna... Hey, oh man, I don't want to bother him. Oh, yep, he talked to me. <laughs> hey! Hey there, buddy. How are you doing? Great! I didn't know you were gonna be awake! Mm -hmm. I'm in and out. I was surprised you're talking. That's gotta hurt. It does. <laughs> like, it's hard um, for him to keep his eyes open. You can see that he's just like, it's easier for him to just keep it closed. Yeah. He's like, I mean, if you want me to come back another time, I can. I just... Oh, no, no, no. Sit down. He, like, pats oh, the okay. bed. okay. Okay, he sits down. Mm -hmm. Um, your grandpa kind of takes your hand in his and gives it a squeeze. He knows this is hard for you. He's your grandpa. Yeah. He knows. <laughs> oh, he no. He gives you, like, a little... A little a little squeeze in his hand because he can't sit up very well. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll be back in that shop sooner than you can say. <coughs> Wei Young's fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's out of it. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, he is. Yeah. Oh, that's 
Jinx just like, you know, no, I, I, I kind of actually hope you, you rest a little bit. You know? Oh, that would yeah. be... Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be really good. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Um, <clears throat> I... You know, actually, I don't know if I want to ruin your day right now. Uh, what could be worse than getting shot? <clears throat> you know what? That's... You're right. He's like fidgeting with his rope, like, oh, I don't know if I should talk about this. It's up to you. Uh, you don't have to say anything to your grandpa. You could literally, legitimately just say you want to check up on him. Oh, man. He, he's just gonna be like, so grandma was here earlier, huh? Yeah. Bitching at me like normal. I mean, to give her a scare. You gave us all a scare. Mm, didn't mean to. Not really I my choice now, was it? <laughs> no, no, it was not. What were you doing anyway? <laughs> Did you say how is he doing or what was he doing? What was he doing? Finishing off a order. Yeah? Yeah. I had a uh, gentleman Why? come in whose daughter's heart was failing, so... She was very young, oh. so we were trying to save her life, but I don't think the package was able to get to her in time. Oh. I'm sorry. I know you said not to do that anymore, but it was... One of those things that I knew how to make it. I saw someone in need. So I tried to help him. It's not what I meant. I just. It was the people you were working for. And that's. Obviously, if you were gonna save a life, I would want you to save a life. The Smiths family, they're good people. They work in the powder district. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I believe you. I, I do. Didn't want their daughter, Just think daughter Lizzie, to go down. You know. No. Yeah. That's that's not what I. What I was concerned about. <sighs> it's just, you know, there's always people that have to make bad use of the good stuff you make for the world. Well, there's always people that will see profit, impossible destruction, and things that are good. Things that can be exploited. Yeah. Um. That. That was one of those things. Um. But it wasn't for the same people, you know. They weren't the ones that I, I the order. I just want to verify that with you. No, I, I. I believe you. I believe you. Um. Oh gosh. Um listen, um I don't know how to say this, but after I go to the gala, I don't know if I'll see you again. And I don't know for how long. What do you mean? You going off and doing more adventures with your other champions? <sighs> kind of. That's what you were picked for. I don't see why not. 
it's different from what I expected. Often, when we're put in places of power, it is not at all how we expect it to be. This is worse, but I... In what way? Uh... I don't think our family's safe because of what I'm doing. Chang. Our family is filled with survivors. We care about each other. And no matter what, our goal is to keep this family alive. We are a rambunctious group. We always have been. And awfully lucky So I think you have some of that good old luck from us, too. Sometimes it feels like it just might run out. No. Because if you think that way, you'll make it come to fruition. Belief is what made the foundations of all these realms. So if belief can create realms and destroy realms, who's to say if you don't believe in yourself, you can't make that come to fruition too. It's a little hard right now. It can be hard. I mean, Life is always hard. Yeah, this is a bit this is a bit much for me. And I just wanted to make inventions for Yanhua. I didn't want to see the things I've seen. You may not have intended it. But I think you've grown to be an amazing inventor. Because of the situation that you're in now. Don't you think you've learned to be <laughs> a little bit more okay with failures? Because it only drives you to make them more, to make more possibilities, to believe you can be better, don't you think? Grandpa, I'm, I'm okay with failure. I, I, I'm okay with getting back up again. What I'm not okay with is getting people I love killed or almost killed. That's kind of a big failure. Jang. You didn't get our family into any of this. Maybe you're the one to end it. <sighs> Our family's been through a lot. Grandmother would know most of that history. But we have. We've gone place to place to place like travelers. Nomads, some would have called us back in the day. You never put us into this danger. It was always a possibility. At every single moment of every single day. I think, young man, 
you are facing the demons our family for generations has been running from. You're stronger than all of us. Yeah. And yes, you feel like you're putting these people, our people, in danger. But who's to say we wouldn't do the same thing? If there's a possibility, a belief that we can save our family. Do you, do you have somewhere to go if I tell you guys to scram? We always have backup. I so said you did, but I just, I would, I, I like hearing it from you. <laughs> the next place on our target is very much kind don't, of like Young Hua. That's all I'll say. Don't tell me where it is. The, That's all I'll, I'll say. I'll find you. Thank you. I just, not to be paranoid or anything, but uh, <laughs> we've, Whenever things get said out loud, trouble happens, so... There you go again. Don't try to jinx yourself. <laughs> Think positively. <laughs> Don't be wary. Be confident. You'll find us when you know it's safe. And we'll be here with open arms. Just like we always are. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. Um, and, and I'm gonna work hard to, uh... Uh... To find a cure for that poison. I know you're old, but you're not that old. <laughs> and I don't want to see you gone so soon. You know I'm a fighter. <laughs> and I know that your mom would fight hell and back to make sure that nothing happens. Same with your grandma. I'm I'll probably that. die more by their hands than by this poison. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope not. Well, you know how your grandma can get. She does have a temper. Yeah. Well, I never want to see her that sad again. <laughs> you should have seen the way she was looking at you. Well. You couldn't even talk to her. Well, she is the nut to my bolt. <laughs> because they're fighters doesn't mean it won't hurt when you're gone. No. But it's a lesson. Like every twist and every turn that life gives us, it's a lesson in disguise. Whether it be a lesson of pain a lesson of sorrow, a lesson of happiness. It will only get you to become stronger in the future. And besides, I'm not going anywhere just yet. This old guy still got some fight in him. <laughs> want to hear. <laughs> he kind like of, budging. his hand kind of reaches up and he ruffles your hair a little bit. Can I hug him or is that too much? You can go in for a hug if you want. Yeah. Okay. He's, kind of he's, he's kind of doing the one arm <laughs> kind of hold as he kind of gives you like a little tender squeeze. Um, he 
If you can, speak to your grandmother. Man, I've been trying to, but I don't know if I'll get to. Speak to Bao first before you speak to your grandmother. Bao? Her familiar. She is a familiar? That's what Bao is. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Why do you think we only... We had dog for ten years. What? He's been around to look <laughs> after you kids for all that time. He's been whoa, 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 wait, wait. He's been the walker. Can he talk? No, but your grandmother and him have a connection. They're able to understand. Were you ever gonna tell me this? Or was I just supposed to find out like this? No. We didn't expect you to get into all this hubbub now, did we? Bow was a precaution. To look after you kids, just in case. <laughs> okay, okay, but, 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 so, so you know a little bit about our history, right? I leave all the finer details with your grandmother. She's a little bit more hip when it comes to that stuff. <laughs> but did you know that we knew Yaya's family? I've known them for a long time. It's crazy. Her grandmother and me, well, we used to be best friends back in the day, just like you and Yaya. <laughs> Yeah. Your mom, your <sighs> grandma would often get a little bit, you know, antsy when we'd be together, but it was all in good, all in good fun. <laughs> really? Is that so? It must have been popular then, huh? Well, not as popular as your mom, you know. She had a fling with a gentleman named Ryu from God knows where. What? But that's on a different <laughs> note. Oh my god. No! <laughs> I would hope not, guys, considering. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright, okay. Well... <clears throat> good, good, good. Well... <clears throat> I just... I'm glad to know this stuff. Uh... He kind great, of nods. He's just awkward, like, uh... He kind of does the pat-pat, and you can see that, like, he's he's about to go to sleep. He's real tired. Is real <laughs> tired old man. <laughs> He's just gonna let him go because he was kind of clinging to him because, you know, he was upsetty. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. And he's just gonna, like, well, get off the bed and help him settle in. Yep, tuck him in a I'll little bit more. And, yeah. and you finally, you, at he's, one point, you finally just hear, like, the old man snore. He's just like the, <laughs> like that whole thing. Probably sounds really nasty now. <laughs> oh yeah, That's it's 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 snow. real rough. Like his oh, voice is very gross. gravelly. It's very just. Uh, um, but you're able to kind of slink out. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> any chance? Uh, is is Yaya's brother or anybody else or? He's just, I'm just curious. Say that again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> is Yaya's brother around, or Yaya, or... Oh, whatever? yeah, yeah, Yaya's brother is in the main shop with the mom. If you want to go and harass them a little bit. <laughs> no, he just... He's, he's hoping to run into her at some point, but okay. if he doesn't, it's fine. 
Yeah, no, you see uh, her brother off to the side, kind of like getting things together. You see the really, really old man at the counter. He's still snoring. A little oh bit of drool God, coming the out. Oh, yeah, God. the ancient, ancient motherfucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you see um, Yaya's mom, who is restocking a few things. She goes, Oh, are you well done, sweetheart? Yeah, thanks for letting me in. Yeah, no, of course. No, if you need absolutely anything, you just let me know. And um, we'll keep an eye on him. Make sure that he gets a little bit more stable. Thank you. <laughs> of course, sweetheart, of course. So grateful. Mm -hmm. He's just... Uh, all right. He's yeah. just like <laughs> he's just yeah. like lingering awkwardly before like caving in like okay because I gotta yeah go. he's just like the like at the he's door like, like I don't really want to leave but okay <laughs> yeah I don't want to leave yeah. but all right I have to I have to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. head so on fetch. out yeah yeah now were you gonna talk to your cousin alone or are you gonna have the group with you? What was the plan? Yeah, like? that's what I'm wondering. Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Because it's like, what they all need. Well, I guess it. I don't know if they should be there or not. Because, like, I don't know if she'll be hesitant to share the information if they're present. Okay. I don't. I don't know. So but you I can do like know... stop back in and be like, I'm gonna go see my cousin. I don't actually think you guys should go. <laughs> or do you just want like another, <laughs> like one other to be with you? Like, I think Noctis didn't expect, like, I think Noctis just took it as, like, Chang was going to talk to his cousin. Yeah. Not gonna lie, Chang thought the group was going, so he's mm -hmm. like, uh... But... <laughs> but he's like... Ash, we, what do you know? think Chang would want? The group with him as he speaks to his cousin? Or... No. <laughs> um... I guess it would make sense if he didn't bring the group because he would want his cousin to reveal as much as possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he doesn't want like too much attention on where he lives, I guess. Okay. Um, He does need at some point to kidnap Bim so he can make those things, mm -hmm, but that's mm -hmm. later. You can probably grab Bim on your way back. Yeah, he can be like, alright, <laughs> we're making shit. <laughs> well, sis. Okay, did, did I tell you her girlfriend's name? Boomst? Sayoung. Sayoung's girlfriend. Was it Sakura? Yeah. I yeah. just wanted to make sure that I had it on there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know that was like a side conversation we had. Um. So, you are gonna head on over. Um... You can see that the light is on, so you're like, okay, someone's home. Um, you better be. I'll mm -hmm. be upset. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what would the what, what would the one question be, Sam? Say it now, forever hold your peace. We can we can pretend that you said this prior to them leaving. Yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. I don't remember. You don't remember, uh, Sam. I, don't. <laughs> I didn't know he was going right now. Yeah. I, if I if I manage to think it before. Damn it! I want to make it so you guys go to the gala next one. <laughs> 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 We've been holding out for this gala for so long. I know. Yeah. No, I, if I remember the question before, like this gets too far and with yeah. Chang, and I, then I'll type it. Okay. Yeah, Chang has oh, well. to make. The weapons, and he definitely has to make that helm of intellect. I guess he, I guess he's gonna surprise Yaya with what's gonna happen because mm -hmm. he didn't get a chance to tell her. By the way, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm um, doing this thing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> as you were passing, you can actually see your mom in the window as you're like going down. She kind of looks oh. up and she kind of gives you the you here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh shit. All right. He he might as well. You can't disobey mama. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. All right, all right. Because I think 
So today was recon day. That means tomorrow, technically, is your guys' gala. Chang likes to pretend it's not happening because he so. doesn't want to go. <laughs> so, Mama <laughs> gives you a look when you enter. Oh. She goes, Chang, do you have your outfit picked for the gala? Oh, good. She didn't hear about my fuck up at the Grove. <laughs> good. Of course she didn't. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did she? No. Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, <clears throat> oh. Well, Chang's just like, what? What? Gala? What? What gala? It's the one you invited <laughs> Bim Bam to? Oh my god, how did you know that? Because Bim Bam told me. Of course he did. Why? I don't know how to say anything. He wanted my advice on his outfit, which I hope he took. Wait, really? <laughs> I hope oh, so he took it, it but I don't know. Oh. Oh. oh, good, good. He he went to get expert advice. <laughs> do you, ha sweetheart, do you have an outfit? No. Okay, I was hoping, hoping to hold on to this for, I don't know, a wedding or something, maybe? Wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> Chen, Sorry. <clears throat> you are a very handsome young man. Someone is going to love you as much as the rest of the family does, but even more. And we know that they will. Uh, sure. Of course. <laughs> You see just kind of, like, <laughs> frustration on her face, but also, like, she's trying to be delicate with this. She's just like, my son. <laughs> Chang's like, marriage in my future in just, this? Just follow me, sweetheart, please. He's coming. He's and she coming. Kind of like goes off. She goes to um, their bedroom, your mom and your dad's, and you see her, like, rifle through, oh. like, boxes and boxes and boxes in the very, very back of the um the closet that she's rifling through before she takes out the box and she dusts it off and everything and oh no so this was your grandfather's which my dad <laughs> sorry i couldn't help myself <laughs> <laughs> which one mine <laughs> gotta make sure it's the fabulous one <laughs> Obviously. And she you see her like pull it out. And did you have an outfit picked out for Chang? No Officially. Uh, I had so I've been looking through the different types of Han Fu that there are and there's too fucking many. Mm -hmm. But I know the style I liked most okay. were it was those ones where they're like long sleeve, but they have like a wrapping around the forearm. And um, like a, oh god, what is it called? Like, holy shit. I feel like I've seen this freaking Hanfu like a billion times and it's driving me crazy that I don't know what it is right now. It's like, where is it? Oh, somebody shared it. What? No, Sam, I told you I ruined it. <laughs> I didn't draw on a separate layer, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to try to describe what I have in mind, slightly. Okay. Okay. We can always change it and with how it looks, but... Mm -hmm. So it would be the Hanfu that is kind of has those guards and everything. Yes! It yes! It has like a white neckline, but the the rest of the hun hun hanfu hanfu yeah hun, hanfu hanfu is almost like a a dark deep blue, but it does have traditional um like embroidery of gold and red and white of a dragon. Okay. Kind of just like on the shoulder. 
and then there's small detailing throughout so that it matches. It's very, very classic looking. Um, but it's also very, very, like, flattering as well because it gets him in a way that's flattering for his body type because you have, you have a sense now that your grandfather probably was more your body type and then thinned out a little bit as he got older because most... Yeah old people get smaller as they, you know, yeah, grow up. we become raisins. So it would kind of be like this kind of one. Yeah, I love those, yeah! But it has that yeah. mixture of that dragon kind of on the shoulder and like the tail on the other side, so it has a little bit of that red. It's that deep blue but with a little bit of red and gold, and it has like a few gold accents here and here. It's here and there. It's not overbearing, but it does have yeah. layers. It's very traditional, but also slightly modernized. Um, yeah, so it modern does color. have that small flare of glory grove in it. So yes. it's, it's very kind of, it's like a mixture of that one, and I'll show you another one that I had in mind. It's a mix of that one and this one kind of together. But like a more yes, refined yes, yes. kind of detailing, not as Yeah, yeah, I've been looking at those. I, I forgot what it's called. There's like a specific name for that one, but it's that one and there's all, yeah, the one mm -hmm. you you shared is like the modified mm -hmm. and then there's that one and then there's another one that's similar to those two yeah I just it's kind of like those the combined name. Um, yeah but that's that's kind of what i imagined when you were kind of like explaining things yes, so i was like yes. okay 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 um yeah, but you do have so it, the main color is blue you have accents yeah. of gold and red Okay. All right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. And she kind of pulls that out, and she kind of, like, dusts it off a little bit. And she has that wrapping around the middle. Mm -hmm. And you can see that, like, it's kind of the wrapping for the black outfit, so it's just a simple wrapping, but on the very end of it, it is actually your guys's like, your last name, but in Chinese. Ooh. So it's like that I going love. up the side. Yes. yes, yes but yes. considering it's your grandfather's, it's Lee. Oh, that hurts my heart. Ah. Um, so it's just says Lee on the side. And then you see your gram not your grandma, your mom shift and go, We can always change the name to ours, but I it's so short notice that I wasn't able to it's... fix it. <laughs> he thinks it's perfect. It makes a statement considering the journal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's he's feeling petty. He's like, no, no, no. It's perfect. Yeah, and she just kind of goes, um, but take this. Um, the bracers that hold it down, they're um, from your <laughs> something from your great, 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 great grandfather that basically has been passed down to son to son to son in the generations. Um, it was going to go to your uncle, but your uncle's basically, well, Taisu didn't want it. So we decided <sighs> you should have it. Thanks, Mom. Well, uh... <sighs> Try to wear it right. <laughs> please stop by before I'll you get a haircut. Over. Yes, please. Okay. You, <laughs> you look a little shaggy, honey. Um, yeah, I, I, I know, I know. I actually, I actually do have a picture of that, but I can't pull it up right now. But, but if you can, please stop by so that I can get a photo before you oh. go. With okay, bim bam, please. <laughs> you don't want to see what Ben looks like. 
<laughs> Chang's like, you think he's gonna... I have what do you, no what idea. do you think he's gonna wear, Mom? <laughs> uh, the thing that he explained... <laughs> ...was very loud. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's Bam Bam for you. <laughs> but I know it's red, <laughs> and... You have a little red now on your outfit, so you'll you'll almost match. <laughs> I'm at, oh, that's okay, Mom. I think he's he's gonna look great. He's going to look great. I, it is Bim Bam. Um, that that young I mean, man. You, you saw him. I mean, he's a looker, so whatever he wears, it's gonna look great. <laughs> She's like, Chang, that was gay, <laughs> but all right. <laughs> She's like, okay. Um, she, you see her kind of, kind of nod, and wrap up, wrap it back up in the. Tr it's like a very traditional box. Like this box has, you can tell, it's an old box. God, he's so nervous. He's like, God, and I'm holding a relic. She kind of, she like. Reties it like you know how they have it, so it like is on both sides. Uh, she has it so you yeah, can like lift like, it up and carry it like that. She hands it over to you. She's like, you think this is gonna fit me? By the way, like I don't know if you've noticed, but no. I kind of lost some weight. <laughs> no, I think it's gonna fit you like a glove. Oh. <laughs> you see her just kind of smile. And goes, that's my boy. How's my young, by the way? I, I, you know, I just want to know a little better. better. Um, talking a little bit more. She holds on to Teddy Bear a lot. She does ask about you, though. She keeps asking if you're... You're gonna be okay. And I keep reassuring <laughs> that you are. She said something funny. A little bit at dinner, though. <laughs> anxiety? Anxiety? What did she say? Oh. Oh, um, something about you and, like, a <laughs> a giant eagle. Something, uh, just, I don't know, she said something <laughs> about that, and she said, like, you had to find the feathers, and, like, it was funny. The chicks are like, excuse me! <laughs> yeah, something about finding, the finding a feather. I'm not quite sure. A giant eagle. A giant That's eagle, it. finding, I don't know, oh. something about finding a feather, and she said it would be really funny, but you have to go deeper in order to try and figure out what to do. I don't really know what she was, she was babbling a little bit. <laughs> she also says that Chang needs to follow the leader, too, which I don't really know what that means, either. <laughs> He is absorbing this information, just letting you know. Okay. <laughs> write it down, write it down. <laughs> but, um... Do you need any food for the road? Are you heading back to where you guys are staying? Are you staying home, or are you staying off... Off of where we're at? Um... I have a place. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I, it's... Trust me, it's better. Have you eaten? <laughs> Are you hungry? Uh, I can make you up something real quick. No, no, no. I appreciate it. Okay, we had an early dinner, so I just want to make sure. He just looks there like, Are you okay? You see her kind of just shift and just kind of give it a sigh. She goes, <sighs> Just a worry wart like I am. Okay. Oh. She kind of like adjusts your clothes a little bit, making them more oh. tidier. I just oh. worry about you, honey. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay. Love you. Maybe. Love you too. 
It's just awkward. She's just like, I have this ancient relic in my hand. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to destroy it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, it's um, like, oh, by the way, the gold is actually gold. It's like true blue oh, gold shit. thread. It's like, it's Ooh. silk. It's gold thread. Like, this is fancy attire. Oh man, he's taking it to the Gala Chang. He's like, are you mm -hmm. sure you want me to? And the it? eye of the dragon is an onyx gem stone. Interesting. Yeah. Oh no, like, there's, like, there's oh, little, man, there's little bits this. here and there that's like, this is money. Oh shit. This is this is very expensive. Probably the most expensive thing that Chang has ever worn in his life. Probably more expensive than his mother's wedding gown. Very expensive. <gasps> so. Oh no. You're gonna. I can't believe my dogs are familiar. I'm sorry. Like what the. Fuck? <laughs> that's what you're. That's what you're stuck on. <laughs> I, I'm just sorry. <laughs> I mean, also no. I'm thinking many things right now, but I'm just like, what the. Fuck? <laughs> it cracks me up. He's okay. gonna he's gonna make sure he gives his mama a hug though, because she's Oh yeah, she it. gives hey, hug back, right. kiss on Fair the forehead. Yeah. Like kiss on the forehead, tries to rub off her lipstick a little bit. There's a little bit of smudge oh. now. Like oh. <laughs> oh. Um, good, good. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're gonna head over to Se Young's place. Um yeah. You see the light outside, and so you're like, someone's home, cool, go up, knock, knock, knock. And I will turn on my fucking lantern when I'm inside. Okay. Um, so... You, Steph. Fucking great. Okay. As you, wa as you knock, 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 um, you were greeted by Sakura, which of course is <gasps> Seyoung's girlfriend. Um, she yes, yes. is a gnome as well um she is very alternative looking so she's got bright pink <laughs> hair she has like thick eyeliner she is wearing she is very steampunked out she is very glory grove looking she's got the goggles going on on her head she has one big like poof like thing on her side she is she's nice <laughs> <laughs> my um, my cousin has good taste, mm -hmm, right? <laughs> mm -hmm, very much an alternative girl. So she's just like, <laughs> right. she kind of leans, she goes, Oh, hey there, Chang, how are you? Are you here to, like, have dinner with us? Uh, uh, is that a yes? Is that yeah? Are you? Are you? Yes! Okay, so I made something brand new. I don't know if you'll be interested in it, but okay. So I learned... A new recipe. Chicken oh. Alfredo. Have you ever had chicken oh. Alfredo? <laughs> I'm really excited to try it. I learned it from my coworker. Um, and she like starts babbling about food. She talks talk, starts talking about the garlic bread and like she made the pasta from scratch and like everything. And she's just like she's totally going about it. She's just like, I'm really excited for you to test it and everything. Um, have you seen Seyon like, yet? How dare you? Um, <laughs> she's not here? Not yet. She was supposed to be home at least 20 minutes ago. Okay. Hey. Um, maybe I should give her a note. Um, Please do. Yeah, one second. You see her kind of like... Push her like hand in the air and brings it back and she Hey babe, where are you? Who who's Rebecca? Who are you talking to? I don't care if she has a cute bunny rabbit. She wants to come I don't do you know this person? Yeah, Chang's here. Why? Well, then tell her if she didn't want to come in the first place, she didn't have to come in the first place. My god. I mean, I made enough elf chicken alfredo. Okay, love you. 
See you soon. Do you know someone named Rebecca? Oh! Uh, I don't know. <sighs> so Young said that she met Rebecca on the street and, like, they had a cute rabbit, but, like, they asked if they could come, come have dinner, but when I said, like, you were there, I guess they relayed that, and then they said they didn't want to go anymore, that it was okay. What? I don't know. That's, That's rude. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Is that so? Do you do you know a Rebecca? Are you no, having a fight with someone named Rebecca? Because Chang, if you're having a, are you adding Rebecca. another one to your quadruple, whatever the fuck you guys are? What? I'm not adding anyone to. What are you? What are you talking about? Oh, are you not out yet? What is that supposed to be? Oh, you're not. Okay, well then, uh, sorry, <laughs> honey. Um, I'm gonna go finish. <laughs> And if you want to go set the table, that'd be great. She just looks at her like, what? what? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the second time this has happened. What do you mean? What you hey! <laughs> She's going back to the kitchen, working on stuff. Chopping up Things chicken. set the table, but he's going to keep eyeballing her like, what is it supposed to mean? <laughs> what is it supposed to mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What does that mean? Well, the three of you. Rio, who? Yaya, Bim, and Siwu, you guys aren't a thing, right? <laughs> aren't you? Ah, uh, we're, we're friends. So. <laughs> are you friends yeah. or are you friends? <laughs> we're friends? I mean, if you're talking about the three of them, I know they're doing something. I don't know. But don't tell anybody. I don't think that's a lot. <laughs> Chang, sweetheart, do you not know you're part of their? <laughs> <laughs> because it's very quite obvious. I just looks at her like, <laughs> to who? To who? Everyone. It's been going on for years. What are you talking about? Chang's just gonna keep setting the table. He is not in this conversation anymore. He's like, I don't know what she's talking <laughs> She's about. like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> He's like, I know not what you speak of. He's clueless. Yaya was right. He's clueless. She just walks away. <laughs> Chang is gonna pretend he didn't have that conversation. He's, He's having like, Wash crisis. it from my brain. He's like, I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. So, in a little bit, you hear the door open. Seiyang comes in. You see her with like a, a box and like she's bringing in like a whole bunch of like rolled papers and shit. And she's just like, oh, I'm home. And like puts it down. Good to see you, babe. Um, Chang's here, setting table, I think. Are you still setting the table? No. He's a liar. <laughs> still setting the table. Seon kind of comes in and goes, Oh, you're eating with us. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I, I didn't know what to say. You said we were going to talk. Never I didn't say expect no to her. Be. You know how she gets if you say no. <sighs> She can't exactly be a part of this conversation, I don't know. Is she... Yes, hey. the lantern on! Just let it, you know! Okay. Um, roll a perception. <laughs> I just refuse to be clueless. Says the clueless one. <laughs> I got an 18. Okay. Um, oh. 18. Oh. So, you see... Kind of looking over the shoulder of oh. Sakura is Ophelia, who's just kind of checking out what she's making. But Ophelia turns and looks at you and walks back over to you and just... Sayang's like, oh my god, there's a ghost. Wait, it froze. What did you say before that? Before Oph the Ophelia. Ophelia is there. Um, so Ophelia oh. sits down across from you. Um... And 
your cousin basically is like, oh, there's a ghost. She's like, it's a long story. It's... It's, do, it's a long... Do I need to get an exorcist? No, no, no. Are they going to haunt me and Sakura no, for all eternity no, now? No, no, no. She's, she's helping. Mm. I'm... Yeah, it's a long story. Um, She's gonna sit down. She goes, okay, well, talk now or forever hold your peace before she gets done cooking. Um, I'm talking to my cousin. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, okay. Chang's like, okay, great. So, um, I'm going to cut the bullshit. Uh, I need a layout of the gala, like, ASAP. <laughs> like, like, ASAP, and I'm not the only one that's gonna be snooping around, okay? So... You need... You basically need a map. Yes. Of a very high security political building. Yeah. Do you hear yourself? No. I am hard of hearing. You see, her, you see her immediately cringe because, like, she knows he's actually hard of hearing. <laughs> so she's like, oh. Mm. Her eyes kind of go to your ear and just kind of like. Mm. <laughs> Jang might be smirking. I don't know. Um, he's feeling a little. I'll be um. honest. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Can you tell me anything? I, I have a I have a memo pad. I can sketch it out. We just need to know what the hell is in there before we go in there. This is very important. Like this is champions important. Please roll persuasion. Okay. Oh, uh, I misread that. That's a 14. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. You see her shift a little bit. And she seems very uncertain. Before slowly getting up from the table and, like, looking at Ophelia, who's giving her, like, a man <laughs> kind of look. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she just kind of shifts, she goes, and she kind of takes a deep breath in, and she goes, I'm sorry, Chang, I can't do that. It's, it would put so many others at risk, and my job at risk, and Sakura's family at risk. Our family at risk, that, that's a big, big thing. I can't, you see her kind of, her eyes shift a little bit from the side. I can't give you any information whatsoever. Nothing at all. And you see her kind of shift and you see her take one of the tubes that she had and <sighs> twist it and pop it open. And she slowly, I need you to not ask me that ever again. Do you understand? He's looking very grave, and he doesn't speak. He just nods. And she when you he see takes her it. Slowly take it. You take it, and you see a little seal on this little tube. You can take a uh, investigation if you'd like to see the seal. It's on the tube. Um, that was a five. I don't think, um... It, it's a I white... It looks like a white seal. You can't quite make out what the insignia on it is, though. Yeah. 
but you will have to break that seal in order to look at it. Okay. And he's like, you know, I understand. Not wanting to put people at risk. I suggest you leave Chang immediately. Of course. You see her kind of shift again, and she just kind of, like, looks off to the side. Sorry, babe, something came up. Chang has to leave. And you hear her immediately go, Oh, no, I just finished... Oh, at least leave with some, like, extras or something. I made so much. <laughs> Chang's, like, mouthing the words that her be safe. You see her kind of mouth back at you as you too. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna sneak away. He doesn't want to push the envelope. He knows this is he does not want to risk her any more than he already is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but you're gonna take that, roll it up, probably like get it to. A he's gonna stuff size. it literally anywhere in his body where it will not be seen, Honestly, and he might take. The Ooh, best place would be, like, put it in yeah. half and put it in that box you just got. Got a box? The box with the clothes. That's right, my box! Mm-hmm. My box! That's mm-hmm. right! I'll slam dunk that shit into the box, but I will need some food so I don't look as suspicious coming out of this house. Mm-hmm. Sakura is gonna get it into, like, a thing for you and give it to you. So you have garlic bread and you have chicken alfredo with fresh pasta. This is delicious. It smells great. Mm -hmm. She goes, you're going to have to tell me if it's really, really good, because then I really want to know, because then I can adjust it a little bit more, and then, yeah, okay. Yes, yes, I'll share it with my, yes, yes, of course. All right. Thank you. Babe, what's with the box? (laughs) She kind of, like, looks at that. It's like they motion you to go out the door. Making a run for it, like, oh, so sorry. Yep, yep, so you're, you're able to go. So are you, like, booking it back to Noel? No, he's going to be so chill. Like, he's just taking a stroll with some food. He's even going to stuff some food in his mouth so he looks casual as hell. Okay, so are you... I'm going to have you do performance then if you're going to try and look casual then. And then Sorry, are, it. <laughs> are you going to go get um, Bim Bam? Yeah, I'm going to get Bim Bam. He's going to get a... He's going to get a... Mouthful of garlic bread. I hope he's ready. To the house. Yeah, yeah, because he's not allowed to talk while we are on the move. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. I am going to perform, and that was wow. I am not a great actor. Uh, that's a twelve. Okay. I am so. So hard. you, you're I'm- like. <laughs> 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 Looking around, just... I was just like trying to eat your garlic bread. Um, you were able to go get Bim Bam, who's super excited to see you. Um, it's a mouthful of garlic bread. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> eat this. He's just <laughs> nomming on it now. He's just like, This is great. I don't know if it is a real good. Cheng's like making shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So you are able to make it back mm-hmm. to Noel's shop. Are you immediately just gonna mm-hmm. unravel unravel it once you're in there? Is any is anybody gonna be there when I arrive? Yes, no, maybe so. What? No, no. I don't know if we know what we're doing <laughs> at this. Okay. Point. Y'all are doing shit. What are you doing? Don't open it because just in case. Well, he's gonna he's gonna magic. wait for you guys. He's gonna okay. wait for you guys. He has learned his lesson, guys. He has <laughs> fucked up enough to know better. So no opening magical shit without the game. Okay. So at this point, we'll go over to Nyx. As Chang was away. You are going through the closet that Noelle had set up for you, trying to figure out dress after dress after dress after dress. Ellen Wee has already figured out what they're going to wear. It's already off to the side, neat, like off to side, folded neatly, beautiful. 
And you just, it, nothing feels right at all. And you kind of get frustrated a little bit. And you think about it and go, what I really want, I want something floral. And you kind of start describing what you want kind of out loud. You're like, I'm looking for a dress. Like, flowers kind of all over it, cascading. I forgot what the dress looks like. <laughs> Send it! <laughs> I don't know that I have it saved. I think it's on my ex- Is it on your... Be like I don't think is. I put it on the thing. Hold on. No, you didn't. Okay, I'm gonna post something. Don't look at it yet, anyone. I'm putting it as a spoiler. I found it in the Google. There you go. The same one. Good, 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 good. There we are. And you shift ever so slightly, and you find one that's close to what you want. It has the silhouette going off the shoulders, the somewhat deep V to show off the girls. But it doesn't have any floral attachments to it, and you kind of sigh a little bit, and you kind of put it off to the side. And you see Zylo kind of sitting in the flower, tilting her head a little bit in confusion, and you feel in the back of your head of, what are you looking for? She's gonna kind of be like, like with her head kind of hung a little bit, she's like, I'm, I'm just looking for something... I don't know, like, flowery, and like, I don't know, I just, it's been a while since I've been to one of these things, and I just want to feel pretty. Hmm. She just, like, hanging her head. She kind of nods, and you see her kind of float up, and she kind of does the whole, like, small little, like, movement towards you, and lands on your shoulder. But you're very pretty. You're like... I just want to feel pretty for a change. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Often people believe that fields and flowers are rather pretty. And you said you wanted something flowery? Yeah. Hmm. Can you hold me up for a moment? You kind of. She's, she's gonna. Yeah, you kind of hold her up, and you see her kind of float up a little bit, and turn her head, and look down at herself, and twirl as she has like a little couple petals fall off her body. And just kind of float around. Some light lavender, some light pinks, and some peaches. Kind of doing so. And they kind of just float around for a moment. In the air. Ever so effortless lately. Hmm. You know, you almost remind me of a flower too. And you see her kind of go up and she motions to your hair. You got your own petals. But not all flowers can change their colors like you do. But you know, the one thing that flowers need is sunlight. And for a moment you can almost see 
the chandelier above you almost brighten a little bit and it's a very warm comforting glow come forward and you see her kind of fly off your hands come come she's gonna go <laughs> and as she gets a little bit further you see her kind of grow almost to phoenix height so she's like almost gnome sized right now she puts her hand out have you ever danced before i feel like it's been a long time because she's been to like events like this mm -hmm. as a kid so oh, like, yeah. it's been a really long time Mm, then I guess we should practice, correct? Sure. <laughs> she kind of laughs a little bit, and you see Alan, we kind of off to the side, eyeing you both for a moment. She's kind of like, hmm, what's going on? And so Zylo takes your hand, puts her hand on your waist. Taking the man's lead. And like, you're able to then immediately go into what you need to, which is hand on shoulder, hand up. And you start to go into a small little waltz with this little, little goddess. And as you do, you feel a brush of fabric against your legs and a rush of flowers and scents, roses, lavender, peonies, different floral scents as she spins you around. And you can't help but look up above you at the chandelier that's shining down. And for a moment, it's like looking up at the sun dancing in a flower field. And as you spin, you see her smile kind of get wide, and her eyes sparkle ever so gently. As you come back out from the spin, in a beautiful dress, corset fit correctly, hair done up with little bits of florals and vines holding it into a beautiful silhouette you turn and you twist and every movement you make you smell just a little bit of a flower my 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 aren't you beautiful I believe just like a rose. Or maybe more than a rose. Maybe a whole bouquet all at once. And you hear a little clap off to the side. Encore! Do it again! Looking good, Nyx. Do a Nyx. twirl. She's gonna spin. She's spin. And it's odd because as you spin, it's almost like little petals from the flowers that are on the dress itself flutter off of you and dissipate like an illusion. I think we found a winner. I think we did too. Did you pick out shoes for yourself? Excellent. <laughs> so you shift and you move and they're comfortable heels that almost look like they're made 
Not of glass, because we're not doing full Cinderella here. <laughs> <laughs> but they do look like your foot has been basically, like, is wrapped in a little bit of, like, I don't know how to explain it. Not quite the fabric that your dress is made of, but it has, like, a heel that is a gilded rose gold heel that make it looks like it's different, like, um, flowers that are kind of embedded into it. And it does go over your toes to a kind of point, so it's a very classic heel. Um... But it does wrap around your angle, ankle a little bit with a tulip in that rose gold. And so it kind of interlocks with each other. And so it's just so, it's so effortless is what it looks like. And you can feel like some earrings that would match the shoes ever so lightly. And you can feel just a small necklace that has the same idea, but it does have a very, very small symbol of Xylo interlocked in it. Just enough that you can notice, but no one else could. And it has a little drop crystal attached to it. Your hair is done up with a whole bunch of curls and waves and mixed in with those beautiful... Yeah, like those. That's exactly the one I was thinking of. Um, it's kind of interlocked and even strewn without with the beautiful flowers in your hair is a little bit of rose gold flourishing. Just to add that little extra sparkle. Now I think you're going to blossom even more. She's just cheesing. That's all she's doing. It's just yeah, just full cheese, just full like. Ah, I look like a princess. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you, of course, are able to delicately... You probably are sitting in it for a while, aren't you, to get used to it? Oh yeah, because you got oh, like, yeah. a little bit of that corset going. You're just kind of like sitting in it now. You're just like, hee 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 hee. Ellen Wee starts putting away like all the dresses you had pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> so I like the way I'm visualizing it is I have a picture of my prom dress, which is kind of like poofy like mm -hmm, this one mm -hmm. where i'm sitting in the middle of my living room on the floor like but it's just like poofed out and i'm just picturing me sitting in the dress oh like yeah that. in my brain xylo's all small now you're in the middle of your ballroom so it's like that full ballroom scene you got the pillars all around you, you got the huge chandelier above you got the balcony that's slightly opening that can you can see the human world beyond and you just have little Xylo in your hands. And she's just doing another nose kiss. Just kind of like, there you go. <laughs> this is why you're my favorite. <laughs> she's just like, yep, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And with that, we will jump over to Key. You hear a knock, knock, knock on your door a little ways away as you are. What are you doing right now? Are you like going through clothes or are you just kind of like, uh? Uh, well, are they, were they told to go look for clothes? Because if that's the case, then yeah, she would. But... Yeah, Alan, we made the suggestion and even Venry was like, yeah, you guys are gonna need to. I mean, well, no, like she knows outfits. that they're gonna need. She said it last. Time. She's the one that like yeah. brought it up last time. Was, yeah, yeah. Um, but like, I just mean more so like, were they told to go to their rooms to look for an mm -hmm. outfit or okay? Basically, then, yeah, yeah go true. to your rooms to look for an outfit, and you okay. after a while you hear a knock, 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 and it's like the dresses in here 
These aren't you. These, yes, they would fit because they're your size, but like, these aren't you. And like, you get a little frustrated. You're like, this wouldn't look good on me. This wouldn't look good on me. I don't, I hate this. I hate this. Like, this wouldn't look good on me. It's very no kind of thing. And after a while you hear knock, knock, knock. In the far away field. <laughs> <laughs> that is your room. <laughs> and you hear the door open. And you see Noelle with a kind of large box at her side as she kind of goes in. How's it going? Uh, she's gonna kind of like... Just try to be respectful because she knows Noelle looks what he's, you know, providing. She'll be like, ah, still, still looking. If you don't like anything, you can tell me. I can always find something else. I wasn't sure what would be good. Honestly, I kind of just took things from a shop and went, ta-da! I just, uh, have never really done something like this, so... And done something like this how? She, like, is slowly getting closer. <laughs> This elaborate, this fancy. Ah. Okay. Well, it's you. So I know you want yourself to be comfortable, at least, correct? <laughs> yeah, preferable, yeah. <laughs> okay. She kind of finally gets up and, like, is looking at the array of dresses that you just, like, have basically put to the no pile. <laughs> and I'm assuming it's a very large pile <laughs> of just tons of different Knowing dresses. Her, probably. Oh, yeah. yeah probably. <laughs> and you see Noelle- She's probably, like, nitpicks down to the smallest thing. She's mm -hmm, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you see her, like, kind of- Put down this big box that she brought in. She puts it down. She goes, "Yeah, I thought so." So you kind of walk over a little bit. Well, well, well. I mean, it is kind of a big thing, isn't it? This is kind of your big first event ever. And yes, it could be a trap. But you are with a certain someone. You gonna tell me about the thing around your neck? <laughs> she just like <laughs> grabs onto it. Mm hmm. Maybe later. I wasn't sure if you'd be interested, but I do have something. And I did make a few adjustments, hoping it might suffice for you a little bit more. And when you were in your home, you took like you took some of the photos of your home of like your mom and dad and everyone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She kind of like pauses and like looks at them as she passes and she's kind of I see her pause looking at like the one of your dad and your mom. I'm assuming it's probably on like their wedding day. She kind of like yeah. does a little nod. She can tell like she's giving them respect and she kind of goes over to the box and she kind of runs her finger across it. Your favorite color is green. You wear it all the time, right? <laughs> but a very specific green. Come here. You see her like slowly untie the box. Takes off the red ribbon that's around it, obviously. It's a very old looking ribbon too. Like it's a, it's a little tattered. And you see you can take it off. And then she motions you to Lift the top. 
she does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she probably like hesitates for a second. She's like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then she'll do it. What you see in size is not a green dress. It's white dress. Pick it up. I want you to take a look. Okay. She just As you it. reach down and you grab it, the moment you touch the fabric from your fingertips, the green starts to spread. Down the entire dress as you fully take it out. The gown hitting the ground so effortlessly, like almost that it's made of feathers as it just kind of settles. As the green starts to go over the different details on the front, I had a few things modified to match a certain photo behind you. Just the bodice, at least. I know you don't remember her completely. And I know I'll never be able to wear this again. I want you to have a bit of both of us. You take the dress and the green shimmering, the light trail of the corset, the shape of it's familiar. You've passed it multiple times. The dress that the woman wore in the photo with your father on their wedding day. You shift ever so slightly. The soft glimmer of the fabric almost reminds you of a river just for a moment, but not a river in the water, a river of fireflies that you had seen growing up, passing over fields of flowers, and a little you running through them, trying to catch the fireflies. Your brother trailing behind, as well as Ari, and an older Venry. I think this might be one that might match you a little bit better. But don't make assumptions. Try it on first. She motions you to try it on. If she's gonna try it on. <laughs> yeah, she goes, tries it on. Not wearing any shoes. Your hair is down. She walks up behind you, and as you face the mirror, as your eyes slowly gaze up at yourself, you feel her fingers slowly take your hair back, wrapping it around her fingers and into a somewhat of a bun. Look at her. A gorgeous young woman. I believe your mother and father would be quite proud. She twists your hair ever so slightly and lightly puts something through it just to hold it in place before backing away. So you can take yourself in. You breathe out, ever so slightly.
It hits your curves perfectly. Actually showing a womanly figure which you always covered up. Because growing up you weren't the pretty one. You were the best friend of the pretty one. You weren't ever as elegant as that woman, your mother. You feel your hand touch the corset, trailing the boning. There's a familiar sensation about it. Please roll a wisdom save. <laughs> Nine. The familiar sensation of the boning is familiar to you. You know, as a child, you've run your fingers against this kind of boning multiple times. But you can't quite place who you were talking to. But it's an odd comfort, strange as it is. Roll a d20. 13? Not quite. You shift and you feel something around your wrist. And you hold on to that sensation for a moment. Taking your hand away and looking before putting it down. You look at the skirt and the poof. Is this really something your mother would wear or something Noelle would wear? She said it was both of you. Both of them to make this for you. A face you can't remember, and a face that's taken you in. The bottom half is mine. Even I wanted to feel like a princess once in a while. Especially on that day. Give us a twirl. Uh, she will, but she's like clunky about it, like kind yeah, of going well, slow. Not, not necessarily clunky, but yeah, she's like kind of like she kind of starts to do it, and she's like, I don't know, sort if I should be doing this, like. <laughs> Do a spin. Just make it twirl even more. Be and rough. she probably will. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The moment you feel it twirl around you, it's soft fabric. And it's very lightweight. You don't feel like you're weighed down. You feel like you could run through fields in this dress. And it has almost that sensation of when you're being tossed up in the air as a child, of that weightlessness, ever so slightly. And it's a wonderful feeling, euphoric, and kind, and warm. And you turn and you look at yourself back in the mirror for a moment, your hair slightly framing the sides of your face. Although your hair isn't done up how it's going to be. You feel mature. You feel like an adult. Not pretty. Not cute. Elegant. And beautiful. Do you have shoes picked out? No, I, I didn't want to swim. Okay. 
you see her reach back into the box and produce some lower heels, sensible heels. But they're green to match the dress. The heel is made of crystalline. Very base rimmed, with a slight gold texture. Simple, elegant, and honestly comfortable. When you want, the shoes can change into a, a more sensible shoe. Throughout the night, your feet are your feet are gonna get a little bit sore. She kind of chuckles off to the side, and I believe you have your accessories already picked out. A necklace, some earrings, and a bracelet. Noelle gets up ever so slightly and comes up behind you, putting her hands on your shoulders. What do you think? Uh, I mean, this is... I... <laughs> like it. I, I like it a lot. It's perfect. She smiles ever so lightly at you. I'm so glad to hear that. Especially from you, little firefly. She kind of goes in and does a small little hug. A little side cheek to cheek kiss. You're gonna have a long day tomorrow. Take a moment. You deserve it. I know he's fretting about what he's gonna wear too. He's asked me a million times, what color, what color, what color? He knows what color. He just wants to see the dress sooner. I may give him a hard time. That's just showing how much I care. I know. All right. You see her start to adjust the box and put the box off to the side and kind of smile down at it as she gives it a small pat pat before looking up at you and you can see her looking at the dress in total. And you just see kind of a small, pleasant smile on her face. I'm glad I have someone to pass that down to. It's been a while. See you tomorrow? Yeah. She, she walks up and she kind of Thank you No Thank you 
you fulfilled one of my deepest wishes. See your smile looking at the dress on you once more before slowly departing. She pauses about midway and plucks a, one of the daisies and she puts it in her hair and she see her kind of start to dance and sway a little bit like she's going through a memory. You can probably guess what kind before exiting out the door. Sam. Yeah. You are looking through the closet that you share with Asa. Asa is kind of on the bed, crisscross applesauce, staring at the mound of clothes that you are going, no, no, maybe, no, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I feel like he's probably like, why do these all look the same? <laughs> I think that's because it's part of the, uh, the style that they have here in Glory Grove. I noticed, <sighs> noticed most of the females have more variety than men do. This is, this is, these are so boring. Well, it's not about the clothing that makes the man, it's the man that makes the man. I still want to look good, you know? You will. In anything you wear. Oh, shit. Thanks. I know, but thanks. <laughs> he rolls his eyes just like this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to pick something up for me too? Something simple. We need to blend in at least a little bit. But do you know what you want? You could wear anything. Well, anything. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> I feel like I could just pick something out at random at this point. No. I feel like you need to feel like yourself in it, at least. Something comfortable. I don't think any of these are going to be really comfortable. No? Mm. Well, I don't know. What are you looking for? Do you want... We could get you a dress. We could get you a, a pants. We could do a combination. You could do dress and pants. We could do... Uh, I don't know... Fashion is more up your speed than mine. <laughs> what would you like to see you in? I would like to see you... How you feel the most you, the most comfortable. Uh, that's a very sweet answer, and... I, I love it, and I appreciate it. But I also... I still want a real answer. Like, <sighs> kind of like studies a few things. He goes, I want to see you in something refined. Mm -hmm. All right. None of the bells, none of the whistles. I just want to see you. All right. How do you want to see me? Mm. I feel like you... You look nice in something simple. Now are you saying that just because it's nice to say? Or because no. you mean it? I mean it. I feel like... 
be real nice to see you in a suit. I don't think I've ever owned a suit, I'll be honest. Me neither. I, I'm pretty sure I have maybe three outfits at home. Do you really? Only three? I feel like I see you something different every day. Or is that what accessorizing is? I can also, and he just casts the sky self and like changes his, the outfit, right. the way it looks at least. Yeah. Right, right, right. I always forget you can do that. Mm. It would be a very handy skill for me to learn. I definitely need to learn that, especially. Um, but he I... walks over, hmm? um, while also saying that, um, and. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say like he probably. Just kind of like when he disguised himself, like did the disguise self, it, he put himself in like a more like, like a tight fitting, like black turtleneck or something. Okay. Um, and then he walks over and he's like, yeah, but maybe not quite. And he takes Asa's hand and puts it on his, like uh, his upper arm, okay. which obviously still feels like the poofy sleeve. Yeah. 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 He just kind of like, <laughs> He just kind of laughs a little bit and kind of pats it down. It's like, it's not always, uh... True. The best option. Well, it does give you a different flavor, at least. <laughs> you definitely look more like a teacher right now. <laughs> yeah. You see him kind of chuckle a little bit. And Asa kind of looks at the huge array of fucking bullshit that's in front of you guys. And he starts kind of rifling through a little bit, like pulling a few things out, like unsure. Um, but you see him kind of pause on one thing in particular, and he kind of, he kind of eyes it for a moment. This might be interesting. It's fine. And he pulls out... <laughs> so most of these hoity-toity people end up wearing a suit with a vest and multiple other things. Instead of a vest, what if I wear this? And he pulls out the, um... You've seen that, those, like, men's corsets kind of thing. Just under the jacket, at least. N Noctis just goes, <clears throat> Oh, yeah. He just kind of laughs a little bit. He's like, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh, no, now you have to do it. <laughs> well, can you help lace me up, see if it will fit? Absolutely. Yeah, so he's gonna, he has his shirt on and he's gonna put it on and he's like, he's very clumsy with it. He's never fucking put on a corset or anything on. No, he's not like, just, not just like, oh, honey. <laughs> and he just starts helping him. <laughs> yeah, he just starts doing it and he's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> kind of pats it down and then turns around and very fine silhouette. Like, mm. mm. Like, a man in a suit, wearing this. Yes. Woo! Oh yeah, no, he's, he <laughs> is, uh, mm, he's just staring at his man. Oh yeah, he just kind of pauses and he, like, you see him, like, adjusting one of the cufflinks before pausing, going, whoa. Gosh, you're so hot. Go grab something. <laughs> Come he, on, you, I wanna, I you can see the kind of purple. Kind of <laughs> popping up on his cheeks. Well, uh, he's just gonna lean in and be a little cheesy because Asa was, and he's gonna give him a kiss on the cheek. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You see him kind of like, kind of leans in, like he's gonna go in for another one, but like you pull away just ever slightly, like you like, kind of like, oh no 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 no, not yet, sir. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, kind of lets out like a small little groan, like God damn it, come here, can't fucking do that to me. <laughs> 
and like you see him start putting things together to kind of form his outfit and it is it is rather simple but it's just knowing that he has that under it's like that little extra flavor that only you know about Mm -hmm. it's like that little extra little it's it's so funny because i noctis was gonna do something similar were you (laughs) but it wasn't gonna be like a corset it was gonna be more of the Mm-hmm. Something a little more lacy. Woo woo. <laughs> so he just kind of um, does that. And he adjusts it and he kind of looks at himself in the mirror and my man looks like a dime. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Noctis just Noctis has kind of like walked back over to the closet, but he is not looking at the closet. He's looking at Asa. Yeah, yeah. Asa's he ass just... looks amazing in these fights. Oh, way. hell yeah. <laughs> He's definitely checking that out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, have you ever seen how, like, how a suit is supposed to look? Like, how they have that, like that. Yes. Like, Mm -hmm. how a suit is supposed to look like on a man, that is how it looks like on Asa right now. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah no I I think he's gonna comment on it I think he's gonna be like damn that makes your ass look good now you're making me feel uncomfortable <laughs> oh come on don't say that in public <laughs> fine you see him like he does enjoy it a little bit but like also like he's not too much into public forms of ex. Of in their bedroom it's fine <laughs> you guys are talking about clothes it would di- it would be different if he was nike okay because then he'd be like yes <laughs> his butt still looks nice in the clothes mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we know we know <laughs> he kind of like looks over and he goes all right well then find something so Sorry, that, so that i can the... gawk at you <laughs> oh come on! You like it a little bit, exactly. Um, I think so. Noxus is gonna wear a three-piece suit. Okay, um, of course. Okay. Um, I mean that's kind of I, what Oss is doing too. I think the both yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, I'm still debating on the color. Okay. Um, like I don't know if I want to do purple with black accents mm-hmm. or and not like uh like his kind of purple like the i don't know what kind of color it is like the coat like the purple of his moon shirt mm-hmm. um like <laughs> that would be kind of gaudy but like that's exact. like so i'm not sure if i want him to have that with like black accents or mm-hmm. um a black suit with purple and gold Ooh. like it's mostly on the vest or on the like the lapels of the suit um i like that purple and gold idea but that's just me yeah i kind of i think i kind of like that yeah too. yeah yeah because um, i mean like it kind of goes with because he's doing the black white and gold kind of thing now oh. so okay 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 kind of matching <laughs> What is that? What is that? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh. Purple people eater. I mean, not just as a green. (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, in a way. Um. Yeah, so that's what... That's what he's he's gonna just okay. start putting it on right there. Okay. He is going to watch. <laughs> yep. As he should. As he should. He is admiring all that Noctis is. Um he's yeah. putting on the jacket and buttoning it up, making sure that it aligns with the cuffs correctly. And it's a it's one of those like the slim fit suits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm of course. Mm-hmm. As, as they should. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. Mm-hmm. And his shoes 
I'm also not okay. Let me see what I had. So they're gonna be like healed ox birds, I guess. I think is what they're called. Okay. 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 Um, I don't really know much about fashion, so <laughs> you're good. Um, so they're this as far as like the heel goes. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking more like that if it'll load in the actual like shape shape itself. Ah, okay. I like, like with that kind of mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and for design, it's probably gonna. I'm probably gonna do the, a design like the the second image, mm -hmm. and just kind of have it match the the suit. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, do you have pattern on yours? A little. A little. It's like a. It's a like a touch. Like, I think it's only going to be on his vest and then the little bit on his shoes. Okay, okay. What's the pattern going to be, do you know? Um, I don't know yet. Okay, okay, okay. Because Asa's not doing pattern. He is doing... He's a straight, straight yeah. lace man. He likes his, it's just, his flat colors. It, it's it's very simple pattern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not like the all these flowery things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it more like a texture, like the one above it, or just a pattern? No, I'm thinking like maybe a, a pattern, pattern. Okay. 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 I don't know if it's gonna be. I don't know, like. I don't know anything about fashions. I don't know like the terms for anything. So you're fine. Um, you're fine. Is it maybe like a brocade or something? No. Well, not kind of maybe. 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 Who knows? All right. Well. But yeah. Perfect. So he he puts he puts that on. Okay. And then he's like also the the vest by the way is not like um it's not like the ones like with the V looking mm -hmm. cut like it's Shit. Yes. I don't know how to describe. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's got like a like the low, more like the U shape. I don't know if that makes sense. No, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, after a while, as you finish getting ready, Asa's gonna do the whole, like, down to up look. I seem just... Mm. <laughs> like, does the whole, like, whistle a little bit. Wow. Kind of goes up to you and... Are you wearing a tie or no tie? Um, I think he's wearing like a bow tie. Okay. <laughs> he's gonna adjust it ever so slightly. Before kind of hooking his finger under the bow tie and pulling you forward and giving you a quick kiss. <laughs> Damn. You look quite dashing. Thank you. He kind of like <laughs> looks at you, takes your hand, and makes you kind of oh my God. turn so he can inspect. And you see him kind of like, he slows you down once you get to the backside. Ah. I think you have a really good ass, too. Thank you. I really do. <laughs> you immediately <laughs> see his face go, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say make me? You know I'll take it as a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> like, you see, like, in the moment you fucking say that, there's a fucking spark in his eyes. Uh-huh, of course. Immediately. Fucking brat. <laughs> oh my god. 
yeah. He ha he has the dangerous look right now. <laughs> uh, they're in a bedroom alone and they're taunting each other. <laughs> Noctis gotta get his emotions out somehow, I guess. There you go. Oh, now you made me sad. He does it by <laughs> flirting. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I can see him at one point just bringing Noctis in and giving a giving a kiss and deepening it or pulling away. And he just kind of sits there for a moment, like nose to nose, eyes slightly closed. And words don't need to be spoken between you two. Not right now. Because although you were both enjoying each other's comfort, there's also that underlying pain that both of you feel about Nadia. Because she would love this. Growing up, she dreamed about going to these kinds of things. She said she wanted to be the prettiest wolf in all the land. And you used to make fun of her for it. Because she wasn't that cute of a wolf when she was younger. But she definitely grew into it. Asa breathes out a little bit, finally looking up at you. How are you holding together? I don't know if I am. He kind of pulls away, ever so slightly. Not enough to, like, pull, pull away, but enough just to see your face. His hand touching your cheek. Running his thumb against it. You didn't know, Noctis. I should have. I should have known. But you didn't. I tried reaching out to Sko to try and help. I don't know if it worked. I really fucking hope it works. I don't know. I... I feel like... I feel like I just keep ruining everyone's lives. I, I try to help but I just fuck everything up. You don't fuck everything up. You've gone Asa. through hell and back. You're... You can't even sleep. <laughs> you have to guard this shitty dream realm and... <laughs> every night, because I almost got you killed. And then... That was the only way, I guess, mm. to save you. And then I got... I got Lenora killed, and... And... Probably Nadia. And I got fucking Killian killed. I shouldn't have dragged him into all that. Did you know? I'm killing Ophelia. Like, I... She's getting worse. Because I fucking died when I went to that island. What? And she saved me. You can't blame yourself. That's their choice. 
She chose to help you. She sh <laughs> and that was my choice to go into that battle. I knew the possible issues that could have risen. I knew I could have died. It's it's not it's more than that, Asa. The shadow got involved. You're allowed to make mistakes, Noctis. I've made so many fucking mistakes. But you're fixing them now. You're trying to fix them. If you didn't fucking care about anything, you wouldn't give a shit. You would still be with the Shadow, but you give a shit. We can't let our past mistakes define us how we are now. You're trying to fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. He'll, uh, he'll look up at Austin. I love you. And I will stand by you, with whatever choice you decide to do. Because I know, after all the shit you've been through, you know what's going to work best. You know what the worst can be. And I don't think you ever want to see anyone to go through the same things you have. I can't, st still, I can't to this day dream about being in a fucking nightmare. For a night for us, but almost a week for you. Being torn apart over and over and over. Because some little bitch god, whatever the fuck he is, had a tantrum. Because you defied him. That's the biggest thing, Noctis. You defied him. I almost got you killed too. Can't blame yourself for that. You didn't choose, you didn't ask the Shadow to fucking do that shit. That was the Shadow's choice. Not yours. Yeah. You're trying to right wrongs, you're trying to do good, and I know you can do good. And I know it's going to be difficult. We've lost so many amazing people. So have you. Then let's fight for them. Together. I'm not gonna give up. I'm never gonna be giving up. I still to this day don't know what the fuck that creature was. That destroyed where I lived as a child basically killed off my parents. Yes, I know my father was a fucking nightmare. But there was that creature that was there. I got to see so much horrible things in the tricks and the underground. But I also got to see good in you. And as much as you hate him, your father. <laughs> Nadia. Everyone. You can't blame yourself. 
We're having a moment in judgment. A moment of weakness. Everyone has a moment of weakness. Okay, time moments of weakness. Say that again for me. I said I have a shit ton of moments of weakness. But you're doing so much better than you did back then. Am I? Yeah, you are. The old Noctis that I know wouldn't have befriended a little lonely half-elven girl. <laughs> The Noctis I know wouldn't have saved a little gnomish girl. The Noctis I know wouldn't have <laughs> befriended a gnome like Chang. And yes, befriended, I say that lightly, because you do pick on the bloke. Oh, it's, it's all in good fun. Exactly. It's all in good fun. <laughs> You've changed so much. And yes, I know there's things that kind of fucked with you a little bit. Mm. Oh yeah. But you have have been changing for a while. I saw how you are with your kids at school. You've always had a goodness in you, Noctis. You just never wanted to admit it, because everyone said you were bad. So you <laughs> let their belief of you consume you. To the point that you believed it yourself. A little bit was on purpose. To protect yourself, to put up your walls. Yeah. But was it so bad putting down walls? I mean, a little bit. Was it? <laughs> really? Look at me. Was it really? To let me in? I wish you could see my face right now. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm, I'm doing what Noctis is doing, and I can't describe that. Mm -hmm. um, but he just kind of, there's like a little smile on his face, like it's like he's like, I know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. He's like, he's like, you know the answer to that. Um, but he, so that he's smiling, and he just kind of shakes his head a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, he's also going to kind of reach out and take Asa's hand and uh, just kind of lightly uh, drag his thumb over the ring on his mm -hmm. finger. Mm -hmm. He takes your hand too and like kind of does it back too. You're the only home I have left. Don't think for a moment I'm gonna let you blame yourself for things that we can work on together. We've made our foundation, we can build it up from here. Just you and me. We'll figure out every battle together. Even though, if it weren't for me, Nadia would be fine and... We don't know that for sure. Lenora too. Lenora may be gone, but we knew it was going to happen soon. Didn't have to be at the hands of Baba Yaga. No, it didn't. But at least I know where my blade is going to go next.
And yes, that in some people's eyes that might seem to be able to get revenge. But I believe it's the right thing to do. Oh. I have a feeling Lenora would say the exact same thing. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that it is the right thing to do. I don't care what anyone says. We just need to get that book back. Among other yeah. things. Yeah. And we will. So, he didn't take this. Um, and he kind of pulls out um, the locket that he took while Asa was rummaging, because I just remembered. Mm -hmm. While Asa was rummaging through everything, the locket that when you open it has all three of them in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he pulls that out and opens it. And shows him. Asa kind of takes it and kind of looks at it. Runs his finger ever so slightly over the three of you in the locket. Simpler times back then. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. If you think about it, once we just had to deal with, well, some of us had to deal with bullies. <laughs> you two were always wreaking havoc. You still do, but in a different way. Of course. <laughs> he kind of like holds it for a second. Can I keep this? Yes. Absolutely. You see him immediately just kind of put it over his neck and like stuff it down. Mm hmm. So he has it. You see him just kind of... We're gonna kill Baba Yaga. Lenora. Maybe Nadia. But I doubt Nadia. I have a feeling she's still alive. I really fucking hope so. She's strong. Mm -hmm. I know that. She's resilient to us all hell. Always has <laughs> been. Strongest woman I know. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe second now. And then we just scare me. <laughs> mm. Doesn't scare me. You haven't been on the other side of her blade yet. Don't plan on it. I have enough respect for her. <laughs> he kind of chuckles. Now. I feel like we should probably get out of this attire so that we don't wrinkle it. Yeah, I guess so. It's kind of takes your bow tie and snaps, basically kind of like snaps it so it like comes off. Mm-hmm. Uh, knocks me like, oh, maybe you can leave the corset on for a little bit longer. He just kind of gives you like a little shake of the head and like the, all right. <laughs> he kind of undoes his tie. And the scene is going to slowly fade to black, as it is almost 12.30 your time. And we are going to come to an end. And next time, we will come back to the start of the gala. Before the day of the gala, he's gonna want to talk to Venry, because I still have stuff she wants to give to him, so okay. I know that can be like the next one, but just so you know. Okay. 
<laughs> you you immediately went panic. <laughs> well, because I I've literally been planning some stuff for so long, Chelsea. I'm not just gonna jump to the gala. <laughs> Let me get to the goddamn gala. <laughs> okay. Well, then next time maybe we'll go to the gala halfway through. <laughs> Oh my god, how many? Yeah, it's like night time right now. I thought it was the now. middle of the day, because like, our group still hasn't talked about half the stuff that we did. It's like towards the end of the day, we you guys- We didn't even make a plan! <laughs> That's what side chats are for, <laughs> as well. Because you guys have to take into account, the stuff with Nyx took hours. And hours and hours. And then you guys, a last session, had a whole bunch of stuff you guys did. Yep, Ching's gotta make stuff. We'll do stuff on the side. We'll figure it out. <laughs> As we always do. <laughs> oh god. 